But now we have the All Queensland Grand Final, and it's a high kickoff. It's got plenty of hang time. It's a pressure take here, and it's finally is uh, taken by Darius Boyd, and he's met 10 metres out from his own line. What an intriguing and a good kickoff that was. Now, Thido rolls down the middle. He's taken by three, four defenders. Gets up to the 20. He plays it quickly though to McCulloch. And McCulloch throws to her Parker on his left. And Parker is cleaned up here. 20 metres short of the halfway line on tackle three. Play to McCulloch. He throws it to his right to Gillett. And Gillett does the hard stuff down the middle. Good strong run from him. And he makes about nine metres there where he's claimed. Play to McCulloch. He throws it to Thido. He's sick and hit up. And he's almost up to halfway where he's put down. But the Broncos have got through that first set quite comfortably. Here's McCulloch, across to Hunt, and he goes the high kick, not a great deal of distance on it. It floats up and is taken easily by Kyle Felt. And Felt goes down the middle where he's taken here by three defenders and had nowhere to go. Boyd, like last week, was first there in the chase. Now on the next play, just a one-out run. So here's the Cowboys with it looks like Winterstein. Barely get it up over his own 20. On the third play, another outside back. This time, Linnett hits it up. And he's met here 18 short of halfway. Played to Granville. He goes to his right with the ball to Tamo, who is knocked backwards in the tackle. Almost got the arms free. And he goes to ground here on the fourth. Played to Granville. He throws it to his left here to Talmalolo. He's had an extraordinary final series. 450 metres plus. He stopped there. And he's met on halfway. Last tackle. Here's Coote. Putting it up high with his left foot and it's floating towards the 20 metre line. Boyd didn't look comfortable because he had Cooper all over him, but Boyd took it well. And that is a uh, Brisbane Broncos ball here. 18 from their own line, no score. What a frenetic pace, Dan and Wendell. We saw up there in Suncorp only a few weeks ago how fast the game was and already both sides come out here in blistering form. As we see uh, Adam Blair again with a great carry right up through the middle. And that looks to be the plan at the moment. Both sides just testing each other out through the middle third of the field. If the game is starting this fast in oh. these conditions, goodness knows what's going to happen in the second half of this match. And that brings the little players into the game like Nick Arima and obviously Ben Hunt. Here's the last tackle for Brisbane. Oh. The kickoff Hunt ricochets off a cowboy. Thurston goes back and takes it. He's on his own 30. Throws it oh. to Winterstein. Winterstein then throws a dangerous pass that Thurston has to go back for and clean it up. He gets there first, but is easy meet for the defence. So the first nervous moment of the game goes to Antonio Winterstein. Now on the next play, there's a little settler from Linnett, and he's been on tackle too. No score, two and a half gone on the commander clock. It's the NRL grand final on Triple M for Harvey Norman. Here's Justin O'Neill. Two tries last week. And he hits it up here where he's met by Milford and plays it to Granville. Granville turns it to his left to the open side to Tamo. And Tamo gets caught in traffic, but he gets up quickly as he plays it to Granville. Pokes his head out of dummy half, then fires it to Morgan. Morgan loses it sideways. Play on. Taken by Lowe. Now, now it is called a knock-on against Michael Morgan. So that is a Brisbane scrum feed 18 metres short of halfway. No score. We've had three minutes gone, and Wendell of the two sides, the Cowboys, look a little nervous. They look a little bit nervous, but you know what? They're going to be confident going down that edge. Last week, you saw Jack Reed get Jack Reed get found out a little bit there with Blake Ferguson, but they're going to try and snipe there uh, there all night. And Morgan, unfortunately for him, he, he turns over the ball here, but good read by Jack Reed actually, and that's what you got to do. You got to jam in there because they're going to come at you all night. Yeah, well, look, uh, it may look jittery, it may look nervous, or it is or is the confidence flowing out in the where they just want to play free flowing football. As we see, the, the uh, Broncos feed the scrum and the ball out to Big Oates. And These the, are big boys, isn't it, Corey uh, Oates? The young uh, forward to be, you would imagine. Playing on the wing at the moment, and he's knocked down nine short of halfway. And on the second play, here's Alex Glenn. I'm going to watch him to see if he's hampered by injury. And he makes it the halfway here where he plays, plays it. It's uh, provided here from the hooker McCulloch across to Parker. A Parker... Makes some metres. Oh, and he earns a penalty. Right there, this is a Midway through the count, Billy Harrigan. That's going to put Brisbane squarely on the attack here with no score on the board. Four minutes gone. Yeah, it's a little bit tough too on the Cowboys because that knock-on back there was no knock-on. It should have been play-on when the Cowboys picked it up. But they got a call and the referee went with the touch-touch call. And now on the back of that, they've got the penalty. Oh, wow. And the good thing is he's staying back about 11, 12 metres. Wendell, they're going to take the two here. Now, Corey Parker is not the most accurate kicker in the competition and his range might be uh, tested here 41 metres out. Well, Mick, you know more than me what Corey Parker's kicking on. I know, but this is a Wayne Bennett thing. He takes those points on offer, and I think it's paid res paying respect to the Cowboys. Yeah, look, I think yeah, as we see that frenetic pace at the start, someone's just looking to settle the game, and I think the bro what it is here, it's the Broncos' experience trying to stamp their authority early and just say, you know what, we're in control of this game. We're going to take the two and settle things down. 
We want to control the pace. All right, the Kaspersky Internet Security Kick Predictor says he's a 62% chance of making this kick. He's 41 metres out. He's essentially adjacent to the right upright, so direction is not an issue here. It's just a question of uh, distance and keeping it on line. No score. Five minutes, 12 seconds gone. Where It is 30 degrees here at ANZ Stadium, so a slight drop in temperature, but still stifling. Corey Parker digging to the southern end. Slow approach. Moves in. Strikes it. Certainly got the legs. And it's got the direction. First points of the grand final belong to the Brisbane Broncos. They lead 2-0. Five and a half gone on the Mitsubishi Triton scoreboard. We go down to the sideline for Lysart. Here's Ben Dobbin. Yeah, the Cowboys will be very disappointed with that start. Obviously, some high kicks trying to pressure their uh, fullback in Darius Boyd. Jake Granville, he showed his hand by darting out from dummy half. He gave away the penalty. He'll be looking to redeem himself quickly. All right, thank you, Dobbo, for Lysart. Here comes the kickoff now for the... North Queensland Cowboys and a very deliberate high kick again is going to be taken. That's a great kick. It's taken in the end goal by Boyd. He gives it to Thide. Thide barely gets it out of the end goal area and he's put on his back one out from his own line. It's as if the Cowboys have waited until the grand final for this special oh, trick of high kickoff. But now, uh, an offload. Finds Milford. Milford to Reed. Reed gives it away to Oates. He flies down the sideline. Where's the cover? It's only Thurston. Oates is going to go all the way. Oates is in. Remarkable! Brisbane have scored! The Brisbane Broncos! Late to the field! Off the penalty restart! It's six points to nil! Corey Oates, first try scorer in the 2015 NRL Grand Final. Well, we speak about Brisbane starting fast in all their games, and you see here Adam Blair carts the ball forward, gets a lovely late offload to Milford. He's chosen go back to his speed, gets on the outside of Morgan. Gets the offload to Reed. He sums things up beautifully. And to the ever-reliable Corey Oates who strides down the sideline. And he brings it around and starts the Broncos off. And they're six points to nil up with a kick to come. Well, I remember 2000 grand final. Darren Lockyer made a break. Gives it to a bloke called Lloyd Aguirre. Corey Oates, what a great try by the Broncos there. That's a great start. Wow. What about the ability... Oh of Anthony Milford under pressure on his try line to back his ability, skip to the outside of Morgan, come to Reed, Reed ever so cool, draw and pass, and Oates finishes it off beautifully. We knew we were going to get a grand final with flair and moments like that. A 90-metre try on the back of an audacious Adam Blair offload, and they have shown in the last couple of months, the Broncos, they have the ability to score tries from any part of the field. They did it against South on countless occasions. And now Parker's got this kick for next to the left upright. 93% says Kaspersky, internet security. So Brisbane here are about to take an eight-point lead. Here comes Parker. Oh, yes. Guides it through. They're running with the clock, the Broncos. Eight points to nil on the Mitsubishi Triton scoreboard. Eight minutes gone, command the clock. What about Dobbo talking about young Granville having to redeem himself? He's absolutely nailed Thide off the kickoff. Yeah. Only to look up and poor Adam Blair's got an offload away and they've raced 100 metres to score a try. Dan, you'd love this. The Broncos have scored the first try 20 times, uh, 20 out of their first 26 games this season. Yeah. How good's that? They are, they are known for it. The Cowboys are known for slow starts. Ben Dobbins, sideline, why start? Well, that'll be enough to set the post office hotel at Baralabar into raptures. Corey Oates, born and bred in central Queensland from Baralabar. They'd be partying hard up north. Oh, you love him, Dobbo. He's your man. <laughs> Here's another one of these high restarts. Their third kickoff already, the Cowboys, and it's taken on the try line by Boyd. He gives it here to Thiday, and Thiday's met 10 metres out from his own line. So Brisbane have set this game alight early. Ten, eight points to nil they lead, but now oh. a knock-on. A one-out run has seen a knock-on against Matt Gillett, and the Cowboys are handed their first genuine opportunity to score here. And now we see what North Queensland will have an attack. This scrum will set just to the right of the uprights. Well, Wayne better be disappointed because when you score a try, you get points. He likes you to complete that set, get down there, as you know, Mick, and a kick chase. Right then, Matt Gillett is an experienced player. Uh, that's an unfortunate mistake, and, mate, the Cowboys here with John and Thurston could make him play dearly. So, it's important, I think, now with the Cowboys that they don't... I know you were talking about them being slow starters, but with Brisbane's defence, the way it's been all year, they cannot let them get too far in front. All right, so this scrum about to pack here. Triple M and RL for Harvey Norman. Those replays, by the way, thanks to wonderful people at Coates Hire. Here's the scrum win, and Granville goes through, gets a little oh. short pass, and going through is Justin O'Neill. They've scored off the scrum.
It's eight points to four. Two tries in the opening ten minutes of the grand final. We are in for something special tonight. Oh, mate, I don't even see... I don't know what happened there. They were talking one minute. We're talking about Thurston and the scrum being packed. All of a sudden, they go to feed it. As he comes out, he has a look. He dummies. Mate, you've got to take the man with the ball. Looks inside, pass inside to O'Neill. And O'Neill... Just over for a try right next to the upright there. What about the awareness of O'Neill? Yeah. Granville gets out here, shows, gets on the inside of Parker. McCulloch comes across, and he's come from the other side of the ruck. O'Neill, talk about big moments on a big day, put himself in a position. The Broncos' defence comes from everywhere, but he slides over and gets his side right back into the contest. Broncos 8-4, kick the cup. We talk about epic moments and epic finals. This could be one of the all-time greats. How good's this start? What about oh. this? We haven't had a chance to sit down. Yeah, 10 minutes into it. Oh, this is uh, this has already outscored a heap of grand finals over history. <laughs> oh. Eight points to four. It's about to be 8-6 because the kick will be from uh, next to the left upright. Extraordinary stuff. Justin oh. O'Neill was part of the 2012 winning grand final team for Melbourne. Here's the kick from Thurston. No problems there. And he doesn't seem to be troubled by that cork that he picked up last week. So, just like that, it's 8-6. Brisbane over the Cowboys. 14 points in the first 11 and a half minutes of the 2015 NRL Telstra Premiership Grand Final, which we bring to you for Harvey Norman. Well, you talk about uh, yeah, good finals and, and a fast pace. That was a fast pace to start with, but the Broncos wouldn't be happy. You know you're going to pay the price from Grand Final days for making those mistakes inside your own 20 or in your own half. So, here's Parker. Now, this is a more conventional restart. Goes down the middle, bobbles about a bit after hitting the turf, and here's Matt Scott oh. charging forward and hit hard by the defence, but a good strong run from him. He plays it to Granville, who throws it to Tamo, and Tamo here almost gets through the tackle of Parker. Glenn is there to help him. Also, there was McCulloch. Played to Granville, he throws it right to Tamo Lola, one to Morgan. Morgan keeps it going to his right to Low. He runs into Milford and also Reed, but they're only 10 short of halfway here. The North Queensland Cowboys now. He goes a one-out run from O'Neill, the try scorer. And he's met by two defenders. Played to Granville on the right side. He throws it left to Tamalolo. Passes at the line as he finds Scott. And Scott wrestles his way beyond halfway. And he'll be made to play 42 away. Good set from the Cowboys. It comes to Thurston. He goes the up and under. Now that's going to be a tester. Coming down 20 metres away. Cowboys take it through Coot. He then throws it to his right. It's away to O'Neill. O'Neill to Fell. Pinsy is back. Oh. No! Try saver from Oates. Whoa. He's been taken into touch. Have a, have a look at the work from Corey Oates. I mean, as a winger, Dell, unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Mate, for a bloke who's a back row, as you said, Mick, just the, the awareness to know, mate, two on one there. He waits for him to pass that ball. And he, that effort, you make the one percenters, and that's a great tackle oh. by Corey Oates. Gee whiz. I can see why Wayne Bennett's got so much confidence in this young bloke. Oh, Corey Oates. A try at oh. one end, and then he saved one at the other. I, I wouldn't mind seeing a wing get to Clive Churchill. I've never seen it before. <laughs> no, it's never happened. Nor has the centre won it. Oh, really? No. That's a good no time stats. Brisbane, 8-6, 13 gone. I hope you're enjoying it. We sure are. As Blair hits it up, no offload here. He plays in the colour. Throws it to Parker. Parker gets it on as it comes to Hunt. And Hunt catches and passes away to, looks like, uh, the fullback Boyd. And he's uh, easily taken there. Ten short of halfway. Now, Hodges goes into dummy half, but he doesn't run. He throws to Thayday, and Thayday hits it up one out. On the last, McCulloch goes into dummy half. He kicks long and low down the sideline, easily reeled in by Coote, who runs towards the middle. He can't get by Alex Glenn, and the tackle affected. Centre field here for the Cowboys, 20 short of the halfway line. As they go one out on play number two. So the Broncos scored first. The Cowboys returning soon. He's Kane Linton now up the middle. There are three of them are there all over him. McCulloch as well as Blair and one other as well in Parker. As now comes across to Scott. And he doesn't go one out this time. He passes along to low. Runs down the right channel the second row. But Milford is all over him. Good one-on-one -on -one tackle. Played to Granville, 45 out. He throws it left to Tamalola. Gets it on to Thurston. Thurston keeps it going out to Coot, who tries to slice through. But a lovely tackle around the legs by Hunt. Last tackle, 32 away. 10 in from the left touch. Line. Comes across to Thurston. And from centre field, he floats a bomb. Coming down five away. And not looking great there is Kahu in terms of confidence. But he gobbled that up pretty nicely in the end. 8-6 Brisbane. And we've had 14 and a half to go on the Mitsubishi Triton scoreboard. Dan, we spoke in the pregame about the Cowboys, uh, uh, sorry, about the Broncos. Little men making few tackles last week in the first half. Already the Cowboys looking to work over to Milford's side, make him feel the tackles, and then come back to Thurston's favourite side with Gavin Cooper on the left-hand side of the field here. 
So here's Brisbane struggling to make metres here. Hodges barely over his own 20 on tackle four when he's put down by Scott. Logan McCulloch, he throws it left to Thido. Runs out the line, then passes to Hunt. Hunt gets it on to Milford. Oh. He goes straight through. He gets past Bill. Beats an ankle tap. Up to the 40. Dummies. They fall for it. Now, he scoops the pass back to Reed. Juggles. Three gathers. He's ankle tap. Gets up to the 20. Still going. Reeled in. Justin O'Neill there. Last tackle. Left side. 18 away. Oates. Throws a wayward pass to Hunt. Doesn't know what to do with it. Stands here. Throws an infield to McCulloch. McCulloch goes back out to the wing to Reed. He tucks a kick in towards the corner. Doesn't find the try line. And it's cut off by Lachlan Coote. And the Cowboys survive. Oh, what a grand final this is so far. 8-6 to Brisbane. This has got everything. How good is it? Mate, but I thought they, they, they weren't composed enough. They should have kicked right here because there was some space out here. They go for that cross kick. They're a bit... Uh, under the pump then, but unfortunately, uh, fortunately for the Cowboys, uh, they got out of jail there. So yes, it was a poor pass from WR. Yeah. Granville throwing it here. How good's Milford? Limit. And he's met 20 short of halfway. Penalty. Cowboys get their first penalty. And that was late in the tackle count, Billy. But uh, that levels us up at one apiece. Yeah, Sam Thiday just coming back in. He had his first shot in, then he came back over the top of the ruck and gave an easy penalty away. Billy, thanks to Brighton's lawyers protecting your future. So you do get the sense, Mick, don't you? I know it's only early days, but the Cowboys have just got themselves back into the ascendancy here. Their forwards seem to be doing the better in these last few minutes. Yeah, you're spot on. The Broncos come out of the blocks fast, but that try from the Cowboys it looks like it's really settled the nerves. And now the Cowboys just really starting to get into their groove, but you know, the Broncos are still creating chances at will. Milford's looked electric early. But you've got to take those chances, Mick, as you know, in grand finals, because in the second half it might turn the other way. So now... Here are the Cowboys with Coote providing for Tamo from this tap restart. Tamo put on his back 30 away centre field. He plays it to Granville, throws it right to Thurston, looks inside, now goes outside to Scott. And Scott punches forward, but a good effort there by Parker down low and Glenn up top puts away the Queensland prop. Played to Granville, comes back to the middle as he runs and throws to Thurston. Lovely short ball to Cooper, but they were all over that. The Broncos, Matt Gillett with an important tackle. Eight away, played to Granville, throws it to Thurston, rolls a kick into the end goal, with the Stein. No, he doesn't get there. He was first to the ball, but the ball was way over the dead ball line. And not even he could reel it in. 20-metre tap and a seven-tackle set. That's significant. 8-6 to Brisbane. Mitsubishi try. That's the thing about outside backs now. As we saw with two of us, check, mate, you, you've got to make sure you go for that ball and knock it dead because if they get the big play and put it back in, they could cost you, as we saw last week with uh, Jordan Carho and that when they scored. So Ben Hannon looks like he's about to come into the game. We'll go to Dobbo shortly. What a frenetic pace this game has been played at. Here's Hodges. Doesn't make many metres there as he's out of dummy half. He doesn't look 100%, does he? Here comes Parker. You're right, Dan. Rolls the ginger. Rolls over the halfway line, gets to the 40, and he's knocked over on tackle three. Played to McCulloch. Throws it to Hunt. Switches the play back to the left to Milford. Shaped to throw back in field. Went himself. This time, the dummy wasn't fallen for. As Tamalolo got him along with oh, him by Cooper. Injured, is he? Huh? he? Gets up slowly. He's yeah. okay. Played to oh. McCulloch. He throws a pass, which is dropped by Hunt. So a nervous moment there for the Brisbane half. He puts his hand up. He knows he made a boo-boo. It's a Cowboys scrum feed, 20 short of halfway. 8-6, Mitsubishi Triton scoreboard. We go down to the sideline for Lysart, Ben Dobbin. End-to-end -end stuff at the moment, boys. Frenetic pace. Ben Hannett about to come on for the first replacement for the Cowboys. Jared Wallace just starting to warm up for the Broncos. Now, I can tell you, the battle going on between Jake Granville and Ben Hunt, brother-in-laws. Jake Granville, he dates Ben Hunt's sister. Who does she support tonight? Who knows? Yeah, I tell you, boys, it's just evident, and I don't think Wayne Bennett would be really impressed in the last five minutes. Brisbane's passing has just been a little bit off the mark. And, you know, we see uh, on the last tackle, Ben Hunt got a poor ball before, and again there, going the short side. Just didn't get the pass where he really needed it. So now here's Talmalolo, and he's knocked over on halfway. 19 gone on the commander clock. It's played to Granville, and he turns it to his left to Tamo. Geez, that's a good strong run. He's oh. got 15 metres with three defenders on him the whole way. Got to hit his legs, don't you, Mick? 34 metres out, centre field, played to Granville. Pokes his head out to the right as he throws the first. And gets a fly past to Lowe, steps in field, almost gets past Parker. Friday was there to save it. 25 out, here come the Cowboys. Scott throws it left to... Tamo keeps it going to Thurston. Steps off his left and has a go himself, but he runs into Blair. Last tackle. Thurston won't be kicking. He's uh, playing it now. Granville to the left to Coop. Shapes the kick, then a short pass to Cooper. Brilliantly read. Right He's put away by Hunt one-on-one, -on -one, and Hunt very quickly redeems himself. 
That's a changeover. Brisbane ball, 8-6 they lead. We're at the halfway point of this first part period of the game. Yeah, they don't want that to happen too often. JT getting caught on the last tackle. We saw him in the play before how dangerous he was, sorry, the set before, when he nearly got that ball in behind the Broncos' defensive line. And they're just not a good end of the set. And the Broncos get the opportunity now to work it from their end. So he's Boyd now about to play it. He's 20 from his own line. Brisbane in the last six or seven minutes have really struggled to make metres out of here. And there's a good strong run from the try scorer. O2 made 10 metres. Now played to oh, the McCullough. Milford. Gives it to Milford. Oh, he's putting on an exhibition. He danced yes. around one, danced around another, then straight and has brought down five short of halfway. He's not nervous by this occasion. Played to Hodges. There's the familiar run out of dummy oh, half to his right, but he's driven back by Cooper. They do play it on halfway. Last tackle called. Here's McCullough the way to hunt. The midfield bomb here that's going to float towards the wing, and it's just taken by Felt, who fell over as he was taking it, but he, he kept his eye on it the whole way, and he gets up and runs, but not too far. He'll play 20 from his own line. And as the ball is now played to Morgan, he gets it on here to O'Neill. He makes a few metres before he's dropped down. And he's played to Coop, throws it left to Thurston. Thurston gets it on to Winterstein. He's driven backwards here. The work on Gillett and Hunt there to help. The outside backs here doing all the work for the Cowboys. Here's another. Here's Leonard. And he gets to within six of halfway as his one out run is brought to a close. Now, Granville throws it to Hammond. Runs. Then throws it to Thurston. Thurston keeps it going to his right. And the man he gives it to for a moment looked like slicing through. But Morgan gets up and we get to the last oh. tackle. Here's Thurston taken after he kicked. Wow. It floats in the air. Taken by Kahu. 12 metres out from his own line. Thurston gets up slowly. Bit of a limp. But he's okay. Billy should it have been a penalty to yeah, the Cowboys. Definitely should have been a penalty. He targeted his legs and he was one leg on the ground secure, the other leg was up in the air and he hit the legs. I don't know about that, Bill. Billy for Prime's Lawyers protecting a future. Here come the Broncos leading 8 6 at the moment. Jared Wallace's first touch. That's a good strong run. As he carries it to within 18 of halfway. And he'll play it now. McCulloch. And McCulloch goes left to Parker and he can't get away from Hannon who got him around the bootlaces and stopped Parker cold. Played to McCulloch. He throws it to his right to Friday and he manages to just get over halfway but put down comfortably. Last tackle. It comes across to Hunt on the left. He runs at the line then a lovely cut ball to Reed. Reed's in trouble. Reed flicks it back into nobody. It's on the ground. Toe to head by Hunt. Oh but the referee says it went forward. And that ball, we watch it now trickle over the dead ball line. It would have been Cowboys ball anyway. Interesting call, Billy. I'm not sure that was forward. In the end, it doesn't matter a hell of a lot. It's Cowboys ball. And yeah. they trail six, eight points to I six. I am with him, Dan. The call was the ball was forward. If you have a look, when Reed turns the ball back inside, he flicks it back and it does go forward. Fair call. All right, so it's the Cowboys behind, but you do yeah. get the feeling that they're in uh, the box seat in this very early stage. This is a game that will be pet decided by moments, but... Uh, Having the better of the ascendancy at the moment, and this will help a penalty. First tackle, Jared Wallace wouldn't get off the tackle player. So that's going to be a Cowboys penalty here, and they will get to put this inside Brisbane territory. So well, two, pen is, yeah, sorry, mate. two penalties to one. Gordy, I was just going to, uh, Wendell, I was just going to say two penalties to one. Cowboys over the Broncos on the Kumo tie stats. Broncos have got to settle down and be a bit composed here. They're not taking the right options on those last plays, Mick. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more, mate. They started extremely well, but the last few sets have certainly uh, let their like, fifth tackle option slip a touch. And Here's Scott Bolton hitting it up from the restart. On the right side, he plays it to Granville. Throws it back to Thurston. Thurston gets up to Tamo, and he rumbles his way almost to the 20. What a start to the game he's had. Played now to Granville. Throws to his right to Thurston. Catch and pass to Bolton. Bolton runs into three of them as Parker gets him low. And Glenn up top. And there was another one involved. 22 from the right touch line. It's Granville picking it up, throwing it to his left. They're turning it inside to Thurston. Right Thurston told. gets a lovely ball to Morgan, who is right just tackle. taken there by Alex Glenn. Ball played to Thurston. He kicks it into a Broncos player. Picks it up. Six more. Six more for the Broncos as Thurston will get up and play it. So the ref deeming that the Broncos stuck his leg out and got in the way. Played to Granville, right side. He throws it to his left now to Scott Bolton. He tucks it under the arm, has a go himself and gets to within a metre. Oh, he got close. He's had a tremendous final series, Scott Bolton, the veteran. Plays it next to the right upright to Granville. A short pass. Tavo hits and spins, crashes over. And James Tavo has put the Cowboys in front for the first time tonight. Ten points to eight. The kick will be from next to the post. Great play here from Dar young, uh, young Granville out of acting half. 
what a season he's had and on the big stage tonight he set up the first try getting out from the scrum base and secondly here he gets out a dummy half two big men charging at the line we see him here he gets out he throws a beautiful ball across the face McCulloch and Thide come in on Hannett and a legs tackle from Thide can't stop the big man and now the Cowboys in front 10 points to eight Jeez, mate, the Broncos have been so good. Their, their goal line defense has been great, Mick, and you know that. But the Cowboys here, Thaday sort of turned in a bit as he rolled in. But Tarmow's playing outstanding football as well. Great try by the Cowboys, and they have got the ascendancy over the last couple of sets. Well, we've spoken so often about how the Broncos invite you down their end, but they just defend so well. But you can't invite a side with so much strike power like the Cowboys to attack your end all night. And already twice down here tonight, two tries. Well, James Tarbo, Jake Granville, what an influence those two are having on this game. And this could be from next to the post, so no need to bother the Kaspersky internet security predictor. And now it's a score line which is in line with the run of play. The Cowboys have reeled in an 8-0 deficit and are about to go four clear. Thurston next to the left upright, kicking to the northern end. Here he comes now and strikes it nicely. So, two tries to one, and North Queensland leading 12 points to eight on the Mitsubishi Triton scoreboard. And uh, the best Triton ever has landed, and yes, it is a Mitzi, and we thank them for their support in 2015. Down to the sideline for Lysart, Ben Dobbin. Yeah, there been plenty of talk about how Brisbane had grand final experience, a lot more than compared to North Queensland. Paul Green made it very clear, origin experience. James Tarmo's been at the big stage in origin. The grand final's a big stage. He's showing his worth tonight. Thank you to uh, Ben Dobbin. And uh, here's the kickoff, high and long and into the goal. And he's taken on the full by Rockland Cooter. He gives it to Ben Hannett. And he's uh, hitting it up and brought back uh, and playing it eight from his own line. The boys talked about his influence coming off the bench. And here's Tamo again with a good, strong one-out run. I don't give out Clive Churchill's after 26 minutes, but he'd be up there. There's here Scott Bolton now, dragging defenders with him up to the 30. Brisbane are struggling to catch their breath here. It's a quick play the ball, or at least it was supposed to be, but Bolton had to uh, reassert himself there. He wanted to make sure he didn't knock the ball on, and he played it to Granville, who threw it across the low, and he hit it up. Now Bolton goes again, one out, and gets it to, to the halfway line. So last tackle, here it comes to Thurston. He angles his kick towards the sideline, and Kahu takes the safety first option and lets that slip past and go into touch. 18 from their own line, and it's early days, but the Cowboys seem very much in control of their own game at this stage. 12-8, they lead. Yeah, Mitchell Dodge, he's about to come on here, but I think Jordan Kahu, they're getting a bit nervous here, uh, the Broncos. I think he had an opportunity to take that, but he went for the safe play because those mistakes they're making down that half is actually costing them now. And the moments they didn't take in that first 20, 25 minutes, mate, they could come back to haunt them. Yeah, I'd imagine Bennett's message is coming out of their intercepts, boys. I, I just think, you know, as I said, that opening stanza that was frenetic and, and they nailed it. But from there on, their intercepts have been really poor and it's allowing the, the Cowboys so much field position. Michael Ennis, Wendell Saylor, Dan Ganane, Ben Dobbin, Triple M NRL for Harvey Norman, the grand final. Harvey Norman, home appliances, big brands, bigger value, Billy Harrigan with us as well. We hope not too many times tonight. We don't want this game dominated by refereeing decisions. Now the ball is hit up by Glenn. He plays it to McCulloch. And McCulloch throws it to his left to Wallace. And a good strong run. Drag defenders with him to halfway. He's finally knocked over. Played to McCulloch. Throws it to his right to Milford. Runs out the line. Then a short pass to Hunt. He dummies. He slips by Cooper. Then gets to Hannon. He slips a pass here. Hunt oh, as he comes geez. to Hannon. Across to McCulloch. Wow. Line ball pass to Hodges. Riffs it was okay. And Hodges is brought down 41 away. Four tackles gone. Played to McCulloch. Throws it to his left to Parker. Corey rolling Parker. forward. He then turns his body. Gets an offload to McCulloch. Throws it left to Hunt. Turns it infield to Wallace. Wallace burrows his head and just makes some metres there. But the play comes to an end. 24 out, left upright. Played to McCulloch. Throws it short left to Hunt. He pokes a kick. Ricochets off a Cowboy. Falls into the hands of Morgan. Decision time here. The ref says knock on Cowboys. Wow. So that is going to be a Brisbane scrum feed. Mate, it's not a 20 metres out. Once it comes off your bloke. It's a knock on. Oh, what? So Bill Harrigan. This one's a ricochet. That one isn't. Okay, so it was the second attempt here. So the initial contact, Bill, was okay. It was the second contact, which was obviously forward. They're, they're deemed that the first one was wow. charged down. It's come off him, and then it was a, a ricochet off him, and then the next one he knocked it on. Jeez. He's got to get deeper, Hunt. He's too flat yeah, he on the line, and the kick pressure on big nights, you know, they would have put so much focus on Hunt because he's their dominant kicker. They're just getting too much pressure on him. He's, he's, 
You see the Broncos Brisbane. attack through Boyd. Oh, right, Boyd win the scrum. They shift it to the right where Boyd goes himself. But the Cowboys knew that was coming. And Linnett, excellent defensive centre at first to bring him down. Boyd stays down. Now and he gets up complaining. 12 metres out to Hodges. Throws it to the open left to Milford. Milford shows it, then gets a short pass to Dodds. Tries to crash his way through, but Bolton cleans him up one on one. 10 away, centre field. Oh, penalty. Penalty, penalty oh, here. And uh, right at tap the end decision time, tap you would it. think they'll tap it. Yeah, four points behind. Here's McCulloch. He's got it now, and he does take the tap. And he passes it to Parker. And Parker tries to run down the right edge. Scoops a lovely off over to Hodges. He looks for the line, and he is just short. Only two metres away. Parker's offload was magical. Here's McCulloch waiting on the right side. He gets it now. He throws it long left to Hunt in centre field. Turns it infield to Wallace, and he tries to do it on his own again. And he's met two away. Right upright. Brisbane have used up only two tackles here, trailing 12 8. Played to McCulloch. Floats it long left to Hunt. Keeps it going down to the Mills. Steps, steps. Can't get past Morgan. Six on six. Great tackle from the Cowboys, 5 8. Now they're 10 in from the left touch line here as Milford gets up complaining. To McCulloch, it's played. He throws it right to Hunt. Just a catch and pass now to Parker. Parker gets it on to Gillen, who takes off and almost goes through, but Cooper with a big tackle. Played to McCulloch. Feast to his left. Dummies goes for it. He won't get there. He's close, but Tarmo involved in the try saver. Last tackle now. Right under the black dot here, the Brisbane Broncos. Parker dummy half. Throws it oh, left. Geez. Bounces to Glenn. Glenn to Hunt. Short pass to Reed. Reed's running out of room. He throws it forward. Straight to Morgan. And the Cowboys hang on. And Cowboys in- ball, 12 8, they lead. But they're in the sets up. They've just got to get a grip on this. They're looking to play too much football down there. They just need to steady. Get some repeat sets and build some pressure. Tie this Cowboys forward pack out. Wait, Mick, I reckon uh, uh, McKellar, uh, Corey Parker threw his hands in the air. I reckon he was open when he went himself there. Under the post, he was open. It didn't, didn't take him. Well, mate, Hunt went from halfback out, almost out to 5'8". And uh, I think Alex Glenn was caught at halfback. They've just got to get some communication. So we see a great tackle there from young Andrew McCulloch. He put uh, Ben Hannon on his backside. And they're 20 from their own line. The Cowboys, as Thurston gets it. He shovels it along to Taumalolo, so his short stint is over on the sideline. And he's back in proceedings here on a good run there. Plays it now to cross Jason. And to his right, then turned it back to his left. The pass was line ball to Cooper, and the ref said it was okay as Cooper's brought down. On the fifth play, comes across from Thurston here to number 16, Scott Bolt. He makes it over halfway. There's three defenders are there to put him away. That whoosh means it's the last. Cost Jason, across here to Coote. He kicks and might have ricocheted off a Bronco, not necessarily played it, and it's taken here by Kahu, who went in with courage because he knew as soon as he took it, he was going to get smashed. Gets up and plays it to Hunt. Throws it left to Boyd, and he goes up the middle. With seven and a half to go in this first half. It's 12 oh, surely. North Queensland over Brisbane. Boyd is uh, quite frustrated in this first half. He gets up and plays it now. Oh. As Oates almost finds his way through as he goes one out. Morgan gets him on a second attempt. Play down to McCulloch. Goes it to his right now to Milford, stepping and jinking and straightening. And he's put down by Cost Jason and Hannon. He also could have been a penalty as they wouldn't let him get up the play. On the next play, they go to the right to hunt. He provides for Dodds, and Dodds bumps off one tackler, but then is put on his back 30 away. Last tackle, it comes to hunt on the short right. He kicks high towards the middle, but that's a nothing kick. And it's taken easily by Felt Five from his own line. Now he looks for options. Oh, he almost shrugs off Glenn, and Glenn just reels him in. 20 from their own line here, the Cowboys. They lead 12 points to 8 on the Mitsubishi Triton scoreboard. And at the moment, the game's in the balance, but it's just a difference in kicking game. And I know I'm harping on it, but surely it, it's just got to... As we said, well, here we Thurston's, go. Thurston's had the ball either raked out or he dropped it, and Brisbane have got it. Now, Gillen beats one, oh. beats another, comes to low. Beautiful pass to Reed. Reed for the line. Yes, Reed's in. Reed's over. It'll need inspection, but at the moment, it looks like a Brisbane try. So Jerry Sutton says try. The video ref will determine this, Bill. Your first impression. First the- impression is right. It's a try, but he wants to go all the way back and have a look how the ball came out from first. And yet, live, he called lost ball. So we're seeing the coach's eye replay now, and it's going to be, looks like it's raked out. No, it's not. And then he regathers it. That's ah, play on. And I'm playing on on that one. He does. Number nine. Uh, no, he does, yeah, he does get his arm up first, yeah. but then he regathers the yeah. ball back. So first That's part of the tackle. 
Then we roll it on and this will go to the grounding. So the video referee now will follow it through because he's cleared the ball coming out from Thurston's hands. You roll it through, checks the grounding, which will be all fine, and it'll be a try. Wow. So we're waiting for another replay here. A bit slow here at the moment, but here... Now they're looking here post ball coming out. So now it is about the grounding. Redart did well to reel that ball in. Gets to the line. That's oh, fine. yeah. He got that down. And Brisbane, remarkably, are going to tie this game and perhaps take the lead. And out of all the people you think would make a mistake there, Dan, Thurston's not the bloke you think would make that mistake. Made very professional, but you know what? He's human. Here comes the decision. It's a try. It's 12 all. The kick will be from close to the sideline. What a seesaw in grand final this has been so far. Six minutes to go in the first half. And Brisbane have done remarkably well, Michael Ennis, to hold the Cowboys at bay and now get themselves perhaps in front. Well, you spoke about Matt Gillette pre-game and what he can do. He's roved over onto the left-hand side of the field and created something out of nothing. And again now, in two tries that Brisbane has scored, Jack Reed has been Johnny on the spot. I'll tell you what is important is this goal kick. Corey Park has just come from the field after nailing the first one. And young Jordan Kahu in his first grand final gets the opportunity to put the Broncos in front. But also Matt Gillette. Uh, Matt Gillette. Mate, he's, mate, he's put, made some tremendous runs. He nearly gets there on the right side when he's going through. He's pushing through and doing some great things, Mick. So now, Jordan Kahu, who has done a little bit of kicking this year for the uh, Brisbane Broncos. One from two last week. 66%. All so, time. All this year, 20 from 30. His favourite side. 59% says Kaspersky Internet Security. Kicking to the southern end. From the left, moves in. Not a bad looking strike. Holtz and slide, and Brisbane are back in front. 14 12. On the Mitsubishi Triton scoreboard, but you know, there is a lot more scoring to go in this game. Let's go down to the sideline for Lysart, Ben Dobbin. Great story about Jack Reed, obviously, at the start of the year. Wayne Bennett questioned him, does he want to remain at this club? He's had his ups and downs. Darren Lockyer believes he's one of the best set defensive centers the Broncos ever had. The attack, you don't hear enough about it. A great try by Jack Reed. And just one more time, Billy, you are comfortable with that decision that Thurston didn't have the ball illegally raked out. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. And also, just one other observation, the Cowboys will have to get off a little bit quicker. They will get pinged for holding down. Billy for Bidon's lawyers protecting your future. He's one of these high restarts, the fourth of this uh, of this first half from the Cowboys, but they're ready for it now, the Broncos, as Boyd is wrestled into the ground after catching it. Now Wallace is hitting it up and put on his back. 21 from his own line. We'll get to some tweets shortly, but this has been end-to-end -end stuff. We haven't had a chance. There's now Mitchell Dodds, two off the ruck. Hits it up and is put on his back here on the third. 19 short of halfway. Here's Hodges. This time picking it up and running to his left out of dummy half. Not a bad run in the end because Kalmalolo and Hannon, one other were there. And they got him down only nine short of halfway. Played to McCullough. Throws it left to Blair. Blair with a bullet pass to his left to Wallace that I don't think even he was ready for. But he goes, beats one defender, then is taken down from behind by Morgan. Last, 45 out. McCullough to the left to Hunt. Screws the kick towards the touchline, but it doesn't have enough angle. Coop cuts it off. Oh, and he throws a long pass here to Thurston. Oh, Thurston gets away from Hodges. Now he's away down the middle. Up to the 30. Gets it on to Winterstein. Over the 40. Comes to halfway. In and away. Then he escapes Ben oh, Hunt. Oh. Still going. Taken down from behind. 30 away. He Sensational. Three minutes and 15 to go. Here come the Cowboys again. Limit from dummy half. Centers the ball as he runs. Then he throws to Thurston. Thurston to Morgan. Keeps it going to his right to O'Neill. Steps in field, but Reed is all over him. And O'Neill will play it five in from the right touchline. Coop throws it infield to Tamalolo, who winds up. Runs over the 10 and is brought down only five away. Still tackles left here. Here it is now to cost Jason. Turns it infield to Bolton. He's going to have a go himself, but he stopped cold here by Blair and Dodds. And now put on his back. That'll mean a slow play the ball. Near the right upright on tackle four. It's played to Cost Jason. Goes the short side to Morgan. Short pass to low. Well read there by Milford. Great tackle there from the number six. Last tackle call. Here's Cost Jason. Throws it left to Coop. Coop gets it on to first and from centre field a high kick to the left wing. Here they come, Kane Leonard, but a great take by Kahu. Jumped from the field, from the in goal, took it in the field of play, but because he jumped from the in goal, 20 metre tap, and it remains 14-12 Brisbane. Two minutes and 10 seconds to go in this first half. This is a seven tackle set. So now, Kahu hits it up on the zero tackle. Looks a bit shaky, Jordan, as he gets up a bit gingerly. Well, he got up like Michael Jordan on that cross kick. Great take. <laughs> <laughs> 
He sure did. He is the uh, winger in Oates now, playing it on tackle two to McCulloch. And he feeds it across to Wallace. Makes it up over halfway. That's only two gone where he'll play it. Just inside Cowboys territory. To McCulloch. Goes left to Milford. Oh, he oh. fools himself with a step. And Jeez, maybe he hasn't right. hurt himself there. And he gets up slowly. He's okay. My goodness, that was awkward. Here's Wallace. Throws it right to Hunt. Hunt gets it on to Gillett. Probing. Can't get by Thurston. His bodyguard Cooper was there to finish off the tackle. Four gone. 30 out. McCulloch throws to his right to Hunt. Throws it infield or, or shapes the throw it infield. And he's cleaned up there. One of the few times he's taken the line on. Last tackle. Oh, Here's geez. McCulloch. A conservative kick in the touch here. He's found the line. It'll give the Cowboys one last set when this scrum eventually packs 15 from the North Queensland line. So right now it's Brisbane 14, North Queensland 10. Two tries apiece. It's only an early penalty goal that separates these two sides. You're listening to Triple M NRL for Harvey Norman. That first half scoreboard for Mitsubishi Triton. And I think we're all a bit relieved at the moment, Mick Ennis, that we've got a bit of time to breathe here because uh, it has been end-to-end for the entire first period. Yeah, what a cracking pace. We saw young Ben Hunt swing the short side there where he's had a lot of luck over this season. But Jonathan Thurston, his opposite number, was falling for no dummy. He made a brilliant tackle on him and caught him on the last play. Which meant McCulloch had to roll it into touch. But I tell you, some moments back there when JT made that break, you should have seen Adam Blair's effort there. Oh, I'm, I Absolutely saw it. unbelievable. So now the Cowboys work it to the right where Lowe is put down here on tackle number two. They nearly did it Broncos on the Broncos when they, you know, when Steve Reynolds scored that year in 92. <laughs> I saw a couple of those highlights. Unbelievable. Here's Hannett now not going too far on play three. Plays it across Jason. 33 seconds to go. It goes left to Bolton. Bolton at first hit. An inside ball to Coot. Not particularly crisp. Coot has to go down to pick it up. And he does take it on the full, but he's easy meet for the defence. Oh, on the next oh, play, here's the Tamalolo just crashing down the middle. Oh. And he's hurt McCulloch on the way through. Ball play comes to Thurston. Oh. Beautiful pass to Cooper. Cooper then kicks. It's going to bounce five metres oh, out. Oh, Milford is back the there. Milf. And he got a pleasant bounce. Oh. And he takes it, runs oh. over the dead ball line. My goodness, that could have bounced anywhere. And there'll be no time for the line dropout. So one of the great first halves in a grand final has come to an end. And it's the Broncos. They started hot, and they go into the sheds in front. 14 points to 12. Now, the final 40. The Broncos versus the Cowboys. Triple M rocks the NRL Grand Final. 14-12. It's Brisbane over the North Queensland Cowboys here at a steamy ANZ Stadium. The sun may have disappeared long ago, but it is still very, very warm and very muggy. And you just wonder... It's already been a frenetic game, just how that will affect the final 20 minutes. Here they come, North Queensland. You just know Milford's going to do something, don't you? He's got them mesmerised every time he takes the line on. So the North Queensland Cowboys, we're talking about Brisbane's remarkable record win in front at halftime. The Cowboys are the best team in the comp at reeling in a halftime deficit. And two points is hardly a, a massive deficit. They have done it countless times this year. Come back from behind at halftime. So this won't phase them at all. They'll be running to the southern end in the second half. One thing Wayne won't be happy with, mate, obviously he's disciplined in football teams. The Broncos gave away too many penalties there. That's one thing he doesn't like. And you know that, Mick. You've been coached by him. And their try line defence wasn't that good for what the Broncos have said all year. So here we're just reinforcing what's worked for them all year. Now, stay tuned to Triple M NRL after the game because we'll take the presentations, but then that's when the coverage really kicks in. We'll have all the interviews. We'll do the press conferences live. And then uh, Dobbo will be camped in the winning team's dressing room. So we'll have even more interviews. So when the others go home, we'll stay on air. The most complete grand final coverage in the business. Justin Hodges, the final time he will lead a side onto the field. Here he comes now. He doesn't look 100%, does he, Wendell Saylor, Justin no. Hodges? He's no. he's playing hurt, there's no doubt about that. He is, and that's, there is a reason why uh, Wayne played him, and obviously, you know, for the aura that he brings, I suppose, but, you know, he's certainly not a weakling, but there's got to be a moment where Justin Hodges does something, and that moment will be in this next 40, no doubt. Hopefully it's a positive play, but also that man, Don- Jonathan Thurston, we said he hasn't had that much of an impact on the game. Bring it on the second half. Here we go. The second half begins. And it's a high kickoff here for the Broncos. Taken by North Queensland and immediately shoveled across to Ben Hannon. He was very good in his limited time in the first half. And he's brought down 15 from his own line. Now Tamalolo 
Not many minutes for him either, but boy, he was good when he was on the arena. And he runs into three defenders here, including Adam Blair, who's offload early, set this game alight. Now, the Cowboys veer towards the short left, where it comes across from Bolton into the hands of Cooper. And he's well handled there near the sideline. The following play comes back in field as Coop services Kane Linnett, and he makes it to within 10 of halfway. And the next play comes across field. Oh, here's Tamalolo rumbling downfield over the halfway line. Oh, he's come out on a mission. And his second hit up in this set sees the Cowboys use up their fifth tackle. Here's Thurston, kicks off the outside of the boot, ricochets off a block, go, picked up by Cos Jason, who's deemed to be offside. So Cos Jason was in front of the kicker, Thurston, no question. And Cos Jason must have thought or hoped that the Broncos player deliberately got himself in the way so that's a penalty now to Brisbane only 10 meters short of halfway it's Brisbane 14 12 on the Nicorette scoreboard he'd be disappointed with that Thurston he'll set a couple of ricochets now from both opposing halves and it's that pressure that you build with your kicking game which naturally has been so good for both Thurston and Hunt this season but at the moment it's just leaving them short as we see the Broncos go on the attack now through Wallace and now the ball is about to be played centre field, 35 away. What a chance here for Brisbane. Perfect. Here's to the left. Throws a, a flat pass to Glenn. And the front man there is met and put down 19 away. 10 in from the left touch line. Played to McCulloch. He comes to the open right where he throws it to Blair where he does try and put a step on, but he can't get by Bolton nor Hannon. Played to McCulloch. Goes back to the left to Milford. Holds it. Shot pass to oh, Reed. Oh, well read. Tackle. Desperation stuff there. And oh. it was Michael Morgan with the tackle. Here's a penalty. Reed's been hurt. Reed's been hurt. It's a penalty to Brisbane, by the way, next to the posts. Likely they'll look for two here. As Reed looks like he's in a world of hurt here. And he's he's facing one direction. And his right arm is facing another at the moment. That's the angle we have. It doesn't look pretty. As we'll get a coach eye replay. Michael Morgan with an excellent tackle. And Reed is getting treatment at the moment. Now, is that a little bit of a chicken wing? Is that what they call that one, Billy, from Morgan? Uh, and live to the referee said to me, mate, when Morgan said that I didn't hold him down, he said, yes, you did. You worked his arm, and that's why you held him down. The reason his other arm is crook, um, nothing underwater in that one. Okay. Reed is, is walking back to the mark here. He's okay, and they will go for two, Brisbane. So if this is successful, it'll be a four-point game and it will be penalty goals that separate these two sides. No great surprise, Brisbane are a team, like the Dragons and the Sharks, that love the penalty goal and it may prove most crucial tonight. Yeah, I think it just, again, we saw it in the first half, shows who's in control, shows we're in front, we're just going to settle the pace here. Any points are good points on grand final night. And I think, you know, by taking this, it gets them a four-point lead, puts pressure on the Cowboys to either try and score somewhere near the post or, or pressure on Thurston to add the extras if they get over the line. It's funny how Wayne Bennett has evolved. I mean, in, in the 90s, there's no way that would have been that would have been uh, kicked for goal. That's right, mate, because Elf would have quickly tapped it and gone himself. And then you look ahead and, and the Dragons obviously built their game on going up by twos when they could. Newcastle liked a penalty kick when he was there and now Brisbane, 22nd penalty goal attempt of the year. And here is Kahu, 19 in from touch. Made the first one nicely. 88% Kaspersky internet security. Uh, it likes his chances here on the left side. Kicking to the northern end. And he's got that. He's got that nicely. Hangs it inside the left upright. So it's a four-point game. It's Brisbane 16, North Queensland 12. Triple M NRL for Harvey Norman. That scoreboard thanks to Nicorette, Australia's number one quit smoking brand news only is directed. Back to the sideline we go for Lysart Ben Dobbin. Great story about Jordan Carr, who obviously well documented two knee reconstructions over the course of two years. He came back lightly last year. He's been a superstar, obviously keeping Lock Miranda out of this starting side. They see him as a future inside center or fullback moving forward, but a really clinch kicker. A handy bloke to have when Corey Parker's off the field. Yeah, wonderful story too, mate. After all those injuries, you're right, Dobbo. And here's an interesting kick off the uh, boot, which goes high and long and was swinging around there. They deliberately placed that ball, the Cowboys, uh, on, an, on a weird angle on the egg cup tee, and that creates a weird flight there as the ball travels from the kickoff. But the Broncos have got it, and Blair is about to be made to play it on tackle number two. 16-12 Brisbane, McCullough. Runs deliberately into a marker who wasn't allowed to get involved because he wasn't square. So McCulloch 
gets by him, but doesn't go too much further. Right there. Oh, thought it to uh, Milford, who got a short pass to Wallace, and racing up and clobbering him was O'Neill, the centre. Well, by the Milford, who bursts out of dummy half and almost goes through. Mick Ennis was ready to have his arms in the air. He thought the Milford was away on halfway. Last tackle. Bit of a sloppy set there as Hunt. He kicks with angle, but it's cut off nicely by Coote. Runs over the 20. And is put down by Reed and driven backwards. How good's Reed going? Mate, he, he's, been, he's been one of the best out there tonight too. We, geez, we, we sort of forget what he's done. Scored a try and he just looks dangerous every time he's got the ball. And his defence has been outstanding. Now here's Winterstein running down the middle. As he's met here by Gillett and one other. Ball played quickly though. 12 short of half ways. Ross Jason throws it infield to Hannett. And Hannett rolls up to near the halfway line on tackle four. Where he gets up and plays it across Jason. Goes it to his left here to Talmalolo, and that's a good strong run again. He's got the back pedaling. Every time he takes it up, he's got the mid back. Now it comes to Coop. He kicks high from near the left sideline. It floats in the air. Easily taken by Kahu. They don't seem to yes. have a way to get him nervous, Jordan. And he takes that. He's brought down quickly, and they're pinned here 12 from their own line. They don't go much further on play two, the Broncos. It's 16-12 to Brisbane. Five gone, second half, command the clock. But if I'm the Cowboys, I'm either going to change that, try to put a little kick at uh, uh, the top just to change him a bit, or put something on Corey Oates, because last week he dropped one where he wasn't sure. You know, he's not a usual winger, but he's done a really good job there so far this season. So now, go to the right side. Now they don't go too far. Four gone, ten short of halfway. Play to McCulloch. He throws it left to Dodds, and Dodds hits it up and makes it the halfway. No Jake Granville, by the way. He's uh, having a rest. He averages 52 minutes a game. He was off for the end of the first half and off at the start of the second half, so he shouldn't be too far oh, away. Here's a lovely long kick, which sits up in the in goal and is taken here by Felt. And Felt is uh, knocked over there, 10 out from his own line. So good control there from Brisbane. That was a bit lacking in the first half. They ended their set with a wonderful kick there. Now O'Neill is going one out on the second play. He plays it across to Cost Jason. He throws it to his left to Leonard. And Leonard goes upfield and has met one out. Played to Cost Jason, who turns it to his right to Bolt. He's had plenty of game time. And he runs into Dodds and Blair up top. Glenn there as well. Five short of halfway. Cost Jason throws left to Tamalolo. Turns it in for the first. And first it gets it on to Coop. Coop then passes to Morgan. Oh, the one milk. on one strip. Oh, Milford has oh, oh, oh. stripped it out of his hands just as Morgan is ready to slice through. Oh. Milford goes oh. to ground, but what a play. Ten metres short of halfway. Like a thief in the night, Milford, if he's not beating players with his footwork, he's beating them with his skills. Mick Guinness, you call it before. Mate, he's putting his stamp on this game, the Milf. Yeah, debuting in an NRL grand final, and he's just risen to the occasion. So we see another great run there from Matt Gillette. He's all class, Milford. Three tackles gone, 40 away. He's McCulloch, throws it left to Blair. Blair to Hunt, passes deep to Milford. He's away from O'Neill, away from Lowe. Now he sizes it up, pokes a kick towards the left corner. Ricochets off a cowboy. Brisbane have got it back, and it's six to go. Oates will get up and play it on the first. 12 away to Hunt. He throws it to the open right now, and here's Glenn Dumming. And chopped down. There's a player down in black play. There's a player. It's a Bronco. It's Reed. He's in big trouble here. But the Broncos on the attack as Blair gets a flat pass across here to Wallace, who tries to do it on his own. But Cost Jason and Hannah are there to close him down, along with Bolton. Three metres out the Broncos. They lead 16 12. Played to McCullough. Goes to his right to half. Oh, Short pass. Penalty. It's taken out as a player here from Brisbane. First and took out Dodds. Oh, Ball's on the ground. Oh, Cowboys have got come it. On. No penalty. And it's going to be Cowboys ball as Leonard will bring it back. And, Bill, that looked like a bit of a break for the Cowboys. Yeah, it was. I think Thurston did get up there and make contact with the Broncos player well before he got the ball. Should have been a penalty. So the Cowboys, they needed something to go their way. It's been all Brisbane in the early stages of the second half. In fact, it was Gillett who was taken off the ball, not Dodds. And now the next play for the Cowboys on tackle three, make it four. Here's Bolton getting it to within 10 of halfway. Cross Jason throws it to his right to low. And Lowe hits it up, and he's taken around the ankles by Milford. And then Reed, who's recovered up top. Last tackle, 49 away. Cost Jason to Morgan. Morgan keeps it going to Thurston. From center field, the high midfield kick, which is going to come down for Kahu, 20 away. He takes it easily, then escapes the first attempt to tackle. Finally, Winterstein brings him down. Well, Mick and Wendell, they're going to have to come up with a different play because they're not troubling Jordan Kahu. And here's a nice slicing run from Darius Boyd brought down on his own Mick, 20. Kicker. What are they doing there, mate? Like, you know, he's so safe. A bit like when Cameron Munster got targeted this year. Yeah, mate. I just, Thurston's so good when he swings down either side of the ruck and kicks into corners at the moment. There's a fascination with bombing Kahu's side, but he's risen to the occasion. And we can see already Bennett going to his bench with uh, 
Friday coming back onto the field and Parker's back out there as well. Here he goes Corey and on play five, he's almost up to halfway. Good play it here, crowd 82-758. 82758. Here's a long kick from Hunt, but he picks out the winger. And it's taken easily by Felt, who throws it infield to Coote, who's been steady tonight. He slides across field, but Gillard is first to meet him and brings him down. Played with Thurston. Goes in quickly to Winterstein, and he tries to bullock his way down the left side. Hunt is all over him, so is Thardo. Could play the ball, though, to Thurston. He throws it back infield to Linnett, and Linnett makes it just beyond his own 40. Brisbane 16, Cowboys 12. Only the penalty goal for the Broncos. The only points in this second half as Ben Hannett gets it. So just beyond halfway on tackle four. Played the cross, Jason. Oh, oh, he throws it to Morgan, geez. who dropped it behind him to Thurston. Play on. He throws it infield to Tamalolo. He throws it to his left now. Tamalolo across to Cooper. And Cooper is met here by Hodges. And also Gillett getting in play. Last tackle, 31 Kick away. Kick to Oates. Here it comes to Thurston. And he goes high towards the middle. This is going to be Boyd's ball. Comes down 10 away. Oh, oh Coop raced in. Didn't oh. even look at Boyd. Then he comes in. Richard Villasanti style. And has put one on the head of Darius Boyd. Now, that has that has set off a bit of a spot fire here. So Coot went for the ball with Boyd. Didn't have his eyes on the ball. So that might be a problem, Billy. But then that late hit, which appears to be okay. It just, it just takes a replay now. Sorry, Dan. And I thought that both were going for the ball, so that's okay. Coot was going for the ball. Darius Boyd was going for the ball. They both had eyes for the ball, so the contact is fine. But when he's on the deck and he just drops yeah. down straight on top like that with a forearm across the side of his jaw, that will get a penalty. That's WWE-style wrestling. Unless... The video referee deems that it's not reportable. Then he's got to just say, get up and play it. He's trying to play it. Well, then he, re- he deems that's not reportable, but it's definitely worth a penalty. So it's going to be Brisbane ball via Ray play the ball, so they won't get to march it upfield via a kick into touch. So a couple of little breaks going the Cowboys' way here, but it's Brisbane up 16-12. We now have exactly 30 minutes to go on the commander clock. Triple MNRL, the grand final for Harvey Norman. Corey Parker. Going more sideways than forwards as he goes one out. And he's knocked over on tackle three. Michael McCulloch runs out of dummy half and is eventually taken by Cost Jason. And also Matt Scott. And he'll be made to play at 15 short at halfway. Here's Thayer. Throws it left to Hunt. He goes for the big 40-20. Oh. And he's got a bit of angle on it. But uh, in fact, too much angle. It finds the touchline 25 metres out. Never really threatened the 40-20 mark. But uh, that just slows things down. As the Cowboys get ready to pack a scrum, you're a, a number nine, Michael Ennis. Do you think the Cowboys, if you if you put some truth serum in them, would be quite happy to stay at 16-12 until Jake Granville gets back into the game? Yeah, spot on. I'm just sitting here looking at Cody Nicaruma as well on the bench, wondering when uh, Coach Bennett's going to inject him into the game. I think at the moment both rucks are toing and throwing. I don't think it'll be long before Granville gets back out there. He caused all sorts of trouble in the first half and. And it's, uh, it's going to be a really important interchange for both sides. Oh. And, we, and we saw what happened when Wayne brought Nicarima on in that, that game in Brisbane. Just that seven-minute period, you know, that try set up with Milford. So, Cowboys, was working forward now through Matt Scott. Night short of halfway. Not as clean of a second half so far as the first half was. And you just get the sense that the heat is taking its toll. Here's Hannon rolling forward. Gets it over halfway. Knocked over. Gets up and plays it to Cost Jason. Throws it inside to Asiata. No ball skills there. He just hits it up where he's running into Thiday. Played to Cost Jason. He weaves out to his left as he throws to Thurston. He has the defence back pedal. He's going to short pass to Cooper. Cooper's hit hard. He's been well handled tonight. 20 away. Last tackle. Cost Jason. Short left to Coop. Pokes a kick to the wing. Easily cut off by Kahu. Now he gets up and goes again after avoiding the first tackle. But Winterstein takes him down from behind. Brilliant. 28 to go. 16 12 Brisbane. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant tonight, Jordan Kahu. He's answered every question thrown at him, Dell. I've seen some great number fives play here for the Broncos. And he's certainly up there, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah, Brett Prowlman, one of the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Mate, uh, Willie Khan, Willie Khan, mate, legend. Well, is now what is is Joe Offerhen Gowie. His first touch in the grand final. Sees him get to within 20 of halfway. Now on the next play, comes left to Thido. Thido to Hunt. Hunt gets it on to Milford. Oh, a chance. He pass yeah. to Reed. He had defenders in his face, and he did quite well to hang on to the thing. Four gone. Should have been a flat pass then. Sorry. Reed gets into a bit of a, a wrestle there with Phil. And now from the next play, here's Milford trying to escape the markers as he runs from dummy half, but Phil brings him down. Last tackle, halfway line. Comes to oh. Hunt from a flat-footed start, kicks it high and long, and it bounces towards the touchline, and it, it finds the touchline. And that'll be a scrum feed for the Cowboys, 25 out from 
their own line. So it is 16-12. We're just waiting for that moment, aren't we? That ga- that moment that's going to break the game one way or the other as we go down to Dobbo on the sideline for Lysa. Yeah, both forward packs are out on their feet. This second half has just picked up where the, the first half left off. What I can tell you is that the Cowboys have got James Tamo starting to warm up now. He's not far away. Look for him to be re- for Ben Hannett to be replaced by him. Going over to the Brisbane Broncos, and uh, Mike Linus mentioned Cody Nicarima. Expect him to come on shortly yep. for a seven-minute burst. I think it was Cody Nicarima. He troubled the, the Cowboys forward pack in their yes. second stint in the second half. He did. I reckon Bennett's just waiting for Scott and the boys in the middle to tire a touch. They've just come back into the game. I reckon he's, I reckon he's a couple of minutes away from coming on and really troubling Hannett and Scott. Well, Hannett gets an offload there. He finds Goss Jason. He throws it to his left here to Cooper. Cooper tries to probe, but he's knocked over here, 35 away. Played to Goss Jason on the left side. He throws to the middle to Thurston. Thurston turns it infield to Asiata. Does some st- tough stuff there down the middle, and he's met 25 away. Running to the southern end. Goss Jason picks it up out of dummy half. Throws it left to Thurston. Back to Cooper. Throws out the back to Coop. Gets it on the Leonard. And the good scramble there for the Broncos. Wraps up the fullback uh, 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 near the centre, near the, near the sideline. On the last, here's a high kick from oh. Coot going up. and dropped forward by Oates. Taken by Lowe. He's 10 metres away. That'll be six to go. Six to go. Lowe will get up and play it. Here's Morgan probing himself. Tries to do it for dummy half. And he's yeah, over, but he won't get it down. Tackle one. And that'll be tackle Michael one. Morgan. They'll tackle walk one. it back to the 10 metre line. And finally, they don't kick to Kahu and they get a result, the Cowboys. 16 12 Brisbane. Then yeah, we talked about it. You had to go. Like, Corey Oates, obviously, it's his, his fault, but it was a change up. That cross kick, you go in 100 miles an hour, and it's a, it's a lottery. The Cowboys have come up with a bonus play there. So now here's Hannett rumbling down the middle where he runs into Glenn and also off ahead Gowie. Just to the right of the posts, nine away. Played to Cost Jason, goes to his left. Turns it infield. Comes to Asiata. Switches the play back to the right to Morgan. Morgan oh, stands tall in the tackle. tackle. Gets Parker. an offload here wow. to Asiata. But he's wrapped up one-on-one by Parker. That could have been dangerous. Played to Cost Jason. Throws it long left to Thurston. Cuts out two. Gives oh, it to Coop. Yes. Another great one-on-one tackle. This time Hodges all over Lachlan Coop. Ten in from the left touchline. Played to Cooper. Comes back to the right to Thurston. Stands there. Turns it infield now to Scott. And Scott hasn't been his night so far. He's been well looked after. He's brought down 10 away. Last tackle. Thurston. Fears down the short left. Gives it to Coop. Cut our ball to Leonard. On the last. He pops it up to Thurston. He taps it along. It's bouncing. Taken by Coop. He sizes up. Kicks Corey high. Oates. Across the face of goal. Oh. It's knocked back here by O'Neill. It's in the end goal. And Boyd brilliantly lets oh. it go over the back. Very Although very the referee very says very that's off Brisbane. And that's a line dropout. Well, I, well, think, I think it's right. I think it comes off Oates. And that's okay because they've got plenty of time now. The video referee, Bernie Sutton, will have a look at this. Sorry, I think Milford, I think it's come off. Well, Justin O'Neill went up and, from our angle, looked like he did miraculously well to knock it backwards and give his side a chance. Oh, it's knocked back from the Cowboys. And now we just see a tight shot here of the ball being shepherded over the back line by Darius Boyd. Doesn't touch it, doesn't touch no, it. Fine. They've got to go to the 20. There we go. Great They're play by Boyd. They've got to walk it out. Well said, Bill. That's, that's, how, that's how you do it. That's how you play. 16-12 Brisbane. That's the sort of play, Wendell, that doesn't show up on a stat sheet. But that composure from Darius yep. Boyd, most fullbacks would have just tapped it over the back and, and back their defence. But Darius, he was patient. Well, mate, he's a two-time premiership player. He, he won the Clive Churchill here for the Dragons in 2010. And he's been there, you know, for the, the Kangaroos. He's experienced, mate. So Brisbane now. As we wait for confirmation, there's been no decision yet. So the clock has stopped with 23 minutes and 58 seconds to go. And we continue to look here at the ball going over the touch of goal line. Yeah, there they go. I think they were concerned, Bill, that maybe the ball bounced on Boyd's thumb after it went out, and that would be a line dropout. But it didn't touch Boyd, and it's Brisbane ball. Ben Dobbin, sideline for Lysa. Well, Mickey and has called it. Cody Nicarima on. Andrew McCulloch off. Look for an injection straight away. Well, he only played seven minutes last week, Cody Nicarima. And he played nine minutes in the game against the Cowboys. So it looks like he's going to get some more minutes than he's used to. The young Brisbane backup dummy half. 16-12 to Brisbane here. In the 2015 NRL Grand Final, as off ahead Gowie hits it up on tackle one. And he's put on his back by Cooper and Cost Jason. A much slower second half. Here's Parker. Shapes the pass, then goes himself. He runs into Hannett and also Scott. Listen, Hannon had some involvement tonight. Played to Nicarim. Throws it left to Thayde. Rumbles upfield over the 40. Stands in the tackle, but now is knocked over. That's three gone. 
Played to Nikarima. A little run out of dummy half. Then he pops a lovely pass to Parker. Cuts back towards the middle. Has them hanging off him. He gets up to the 20 metre line and finally he's knocked over. What a tremendous set. Ball gone. 18 out. Nikarima, dummy half. Throws it left to half. Shows it inside. Goes outside to Milford who slips just as he was trying to put a step on. That made him easy meet for the defence out there, including Morgan and Lowe. Slow play the ball. Last hacker, left side. Reed throws it across to Hunt. A high kick floating oh. into the end goal. Oh. Thurston goes up and takes it on the full with Darius Boyd in his face. 20 metre tap and a seven tackle set. 16 12. It's Brisbane over the Cowboys on the Nicorette scoreboard as Lachlan Coot goes up on play one. And he's brought down. In fact, that's the zero play, of course. And now on play one, they veer to the left. And Kane Linnett hits it up. And he's brought down 10 short of halfway. Here's Winterstein going upfield and he carries it beyond the halfway. The meters are still coming quite easily for both attacking sides here. Winterstein plays it to Cox Jason, throws it right to Scott, and Scott marches forward. Decent run, brought down 35 away centre field. Tamo back in the game now, too. Here it comes across to Thurston. Inside pass to Asiata. He drugs off Nicarima. Nicarima hangs in there and just gets enough of him to stop his progress. And the ball will be played. 25 away. There's now Thurston. Pokes a little chip kick into the end goal. Boyd, he's got to play at this. He's gone. Boyd's gone. In the end goal. Felt with the tackle, but it was Thurston's kick. And now, now the Cowboys get a repeat set. 16-12 Brisbane. But we're just about to enter a very important part of the game, Michael Ennis. That's the difference, boys. That's what we've been talking about. Thurston swinging that short side and putting that kick on a dime, getting a repeat set. Only moments before, Ben Hunt has the same opportunity. Seven tackle set. The Broncos, uh, the, the Cowboys come down, sorry. They get the repeat set. They build the pressure. And now they get a chance to score in the second half. I don't think Mick and Wendell have had a chance in the second half to put points up. Oh, yes, they did. They had one set. Did, yeah, Brisbane yeah, held on very side, well. Yeah, they turned it over. Yeah, down there. And now time has been called off with 21-21 to go. Mate, if I told you guys that the Cowboys have missed 18 tackles and the Broncos at seven, you'd think something crazy. Wow. There's a Mate. good O-tie yeah. stat. Yeah. See yeah. what Brisbane have done, Dell. They've made some crucial one-on-one tackles. They have, mate. I reckon ten, well. ten of them came in the first five or ten minutes. Yeah, yes, you're right, mate. Here's the restart from Hunt. A high, long kick. It's going to be taken bang on halfway by Morgan. And he throws it here to Asiata. Runs out the line yeah, and throws space, it to yeah. Thurston. Here's a trick play. Thurston gets it on the coot. Runs down the left side. Then gets it on the winner side. Oh, he's almost away. But Hunt gets him down. 15 out. Left touch line. Played the Linnet. Throws it infield to Cooper. And Cooper hits it up, and he's dropped down five away. Isn't it refreshing to t- see t- teams try something on the first play? Thurston gets it across to Scott. Dummies, not fallen four. Parker down low. Thaday up top. Right upright. Seven away. Tackle three. Played the cost. Jason comes back to the left. Cut out pass to Thurston. Short ball away to Linnett. He tries to get there, but he's brought down a metre away. Gillett with a great tackle again. Now, played the cost. Jason throws it back to Coot. He angles oh. across field. Rubber kicks into a Bronco. Not sure it was played at. Oh, yeah, it goes. Yeah. It's oh, six to go. Geez. It's picked up by Coot. And he just takes the tackle, knowing that that's the zero. 16-12 Brisbane. The Cowboys. Another set here. Here's Morgan dummy half. Throws it left to first and gets it on to Tabo. And he crashes into the mirror. Tackle. Nick Arima down low with a nice bit of contact there. Played across Jason. Comes back to Scott. Throws it out the back to Thurston. Shot pass to Morgan. Hard oh. to stop. Oh, they do stop oh, him. Indeed. Anthony Milford again. Yeah, now they go across to the left. Thurston shapes to go across field. Then he turns it inside to Asiata. And he's brought down five away. This is grand final defence from Brisbane. Cost Jason. Throws it left to Thurston. Runs out the line. Oh. Short pass. Dropped. Dropped by Linnett over the line. Massive. Massive play as Kane Linnett was going through a yawning gap, but he couldn't reel the pass in. And it's Brisbane hanging on 16 12, they lead. Well, there's 20 minutes to go. You saw in Suncorp Stadium when Ethan Lowe had that opportunity to score. That's your opportunity in the grand final. You've got to take that opportunity. What about the tackle? Speaking of opportunities, on by Jack Reed here helping Anthony Milford down this left hand side of the field. And not only did he knock on Dill, but the ball comes ricocheting off his chest, goes over the dead ball line, seven tackles. That's it, and that's a turning point in the grand final. The Broncos, they've got to rise here. Nicorette scoreboard. If Linnett hangs on to that pass, there is no that's way they off. can stop him. He was straight through. It was a, a beautifully orchestrated play, and I'm sure we'll talk about it in the uh, post game. Maybe the pass wasn't pinpoint, but Linnett oh. probably should have reeled it in. Gotta take those, Dan. Ten short of halfway. Here comes Hunt. Ooh, a flat pass to. Off ahead, Gowie, and he makes it to halfway where he's put down. Might have had a question mark on that pass, but 
allowed the pass. Here it is now to Nicarima, sprinting out a dummy half to his right. And then he dumps it into the hands of Hodges. Hodges comes at Thurston. Thurston gets him by the back of the jumper and throws him into the ground. Last call here, 39 metres away. In fact, no, this is the fifth oh. play coming up now. My apologies, as here's Parker hitting it up. Now we get to the last play. 30 away, centre field. Nice position to put this in the air. And here it comes to Hunt, and he goes high. And it's floating to the 10 metre line. Oh, and no pressure there on Felt who did well, timed his jump reasonably well, and he takes it here with no change to the score. Brisbane 16, Cowboys 12. We've only had the one penalty goal in this second half when we thought it might have been a score fest post-half time. Here's Lachlan Coote hitting it up on play three. You see a few blokes, well, they'll cramp up this last quarter now, won't they, Mick, because of the, the humidity and obviously how hot it's been today. Jake Granville back in the game now, so... That's the big gun fired there by the Cowboys. Here is Granville. He passes here to Tamo. And Parker raced up out of the line to crash into him. And the tackle made 15 short of halfway. Comes to Thurston. Runs over the 40 on the last. He keeps it going to Morgan. They're going to try something here. Oh, Gets it on the way. Neil, like, who's reeled in. He somehow loses oh, the ball behind go. him legally. Taken by Morgan. Oh, he taps oh, it on the low. Low does well. He kicks high, long. Gets an awkward bounce. It's taken by Oates. Five from his own line. He shrugs away from one. Now, Beckett's boy. Over the 20, and he's picked up and dumped. This end end stuff. Oh, it's got everything, Dan. Mick, how good is this? <laughs> oh. This has been exceptional, this grand final. I tell you, the last loaded gun Paul Green's got is Jason Tamalolo. He looks most likely, doesn't he? He's sitting on the bench at the moment. His injection could be the difference if they get him back onto the field soon. Because the Broncos are handling everything. Paul's been lost. Friday's put oh. the ball down. And I've jinxed him. It's right. Cowboys ball. They're 39 out on the zero tackle. So now things are breaking the Cowboys' way. Tamo is down hurt. Here on the next play, here's Leonard. He hangs onto it here. And he just hits it up, taken by Jewett. 25 away. Played to Granville. Closer to his right to Asiata. Tucks it under the arm. Happy to make the metres. And he's met by three of them. In front of the left upright. They're 16 away. Played to Granville. Slides across to his right. Turns it in for the first. Switch of play back to the left to Coot. Coot runs. Dummies! No! Oh. Reaches out! Double movement, surely! As Matt Gillett makes a huge tackle. But this will go to the video. Looking for a second effort to the over the line. Coot ball. Billy. Okay. We're looking at to see whether when Coot is tackled because he certainly hangs onto his legs so he never breaks the tackle. But does the ball carrying arm come in contact with the ground. This is a decision that the on-field referee should have made himself. You just don't send these ones up to your video ref. You see the whole thing. So we're seeing the coach side replay now. Coot's got the ball. He hits the deck. He's tackled. Yeah, he's tackled. He's on the deck. He makes a second movement. This will be a penalty. What a tackle for Matt Gillett. He'd done the same Bang. thing last week to uh, Roger Tuovasa Sheck before half time, remember? Oh, big play. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Matt Gillett. Yeah, no you're try. Right. Matt Gillett, yeah. your man, Dan. Yeah. Uh, he's had an absolute barnstormer since he's dropped that football early on. That's right, he made that horrible error. But yeah. then since then, here's the decision. No try. Brisbane survive again. They are soaking up wave after wave of North Queensland attack. And as the Broncos wow. up 16-12, we still have 16 minutes to go on the Nicorette scoreboard. You have to take those moments there. I know we keep saying it. You know, I know, I know we're in the box here. But, geez, the Cowboys, this is like that first semi-final where they you think they would have learned a few lessons. They haven't learned the lessons yet, but you know what? They've got 16 minutes to learn those lessons. Otherwise, they won't be holding up this trophy. Are they patient enough with the ball? Oh, look, I don't think so. I think that, that they're getting desperate for that try, aren't they, Mick? Yeah, we saw them run the, the, the ball on the last tackle. It was only the fact that Ethan Lowe came up with that yeah. dribbled offload and got a decent kick away, but it wasn't the right option. It looked like panic to me. Yeah. Here goes Adam Blair up the middle, and he's met and put down. Oh, penalty. Well, sure. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Like, what was that? Here's Nick Arula. Goes <laughs> it left to Parker. Parker hits and spins and is knocked over. Look, Wendell is going for Brisbane. Let's <laughs> let's let's not hide. He goes Nick Arula running out of dummy half. All we thought about throwing it. That would have been a catastrophe. He goes to ground. He plays it 48 away to Hodges. Hodges can't shake off the marker. Yeah. Big Matt Scott. That's excellent work from him. And Asiata comes across to finish off the tackle. You know, Hodges had defenders on him the whole way and still made 10 yeah. metres. Last tackle, 39 away. Nicarima goes the short side. That's interesting. Gives it a hunt. Stab kick. Looks for the line. Settles things down. Nice kick. Over the touchline it goes. And that's another scrum feed for the Cowboys. 15 from their own line. 
It is Brisbane 16, North Queensland 12. Nicorette scoreboard. We go down to Dobbo on the sideline for Lysa. Jason Tamalolo just starting to warm up now and getting some instructions off Dave Ferner. He will come back into the game. But how about Matt Gillett? He will oh. be the story of this grand final. Try tackle... Tackle, sorry, after tackle on his try line. Brisbane, they've been so good in their on-goal defence this season. Just another story. Matt Gillett, superstar. Well, let's hope the Clive Churchill judges think that too. What? Yes. <laughs> I tell you, you, you remember back the way that Tony Carroll used to look after yes. Darren Lockyer? Yeah, the bodyguard. His job tonight with Ben Hunt yeah. there, knowing that Cooper's been all over Hunt, been tremendous. It's been absolutely outstanding. A bit like Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner right there, the bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so... The Cowboys, they're not done yet, not by a long shot. They're down by four, they've got the ball. Granville, away to Scott, gets out of the tackle of Gillett, but sufficient contact was made to stop Scott's progress, and Hodges finishes it off. On the next play, here goes Aziana, looking more dangerous as the night wears on. He makes some good meters there, and he plays it quickly to Granville. Oh, oh Adam Blair has gone yeah. in and got him across the chops. It's a penalty near halfway. Adam Blair apologised to him. Right, they'll get on with it. But this is that opportunity now. Blair was looking for the big play, yeah, wasn't he? He was. Wendell, as he we was. Looked oh. there. Yeah. Not that it matters, Billy, but has uh, Adam got a date with the judiciary? Yeah, he has. Well, if he wants to, if he wants to plead yeah. guilty, you can get out of it a couple of weeks. <laughs> so, Adam Blair, we can all see what he was trying to do. Yeah. He was trying to come up with the bone jarring tackle to jolt the ball free. They've actually got a tour, haven't they, the Kiwis? So 40 metres away. Yeah, you're right. They play England in a series. And hitting it up now is James Tarmo. So good in the first period of the game. 36 away. Played to Granville. Goes it left to Thurston. Gets it on to Scott. Scott keeps it going to Coop. Gets on the outside of Hunt. Now the ball slips out the side. Taken by Cooper. Zero tackle off Brisbane hands. Cooper then stands in the tackle. And is happy to go to ground here because that's the zero. So left side now. 25 away. Played to Granville. Throws it infield here to Matt Scott. Oh, he carries defenders with oh, him almost up to the 10. Thumper. Left up right here, the Cowboys. Surely they have to crack them soon. Here's Asiata. Throws it right to Thurston. Thurston on the ball. Get beautiful oh, pass to O'Neill. Another Reed, try Reed. saver. Reed is there. Brilliant work. Played now to Morgan. He throws it across. Back to the left to Thurston. Gets it onto a flat-footed Asiata. He doesn't know what to do with it, so he just goes to ground. Still only in the count here because of that early zero. Played to Granville. Throws it long left to Thurston. Shapes the pass. He does eventually to oh. Coop. His pass to Leonard is dropped. Leonard's put down the ball for a second time. And that is a nightmare for Kane Leonard because he was looking to get that on. I don't know if they were going to come up with a play there, Wendell, but... Oh, he's going to be haunted by this grand final. 16-12 Brisbane. This is no disrespect to the Cowboys, but, geez, their composure. Kane Leonard, I know, is a good player. He's been here before for the Roosters. Mate, they've just got to, mate, if, even if you don't make that big play, you've got to catch the ball there. Geez, Mick, I just, there's opportunities, and they're still taking them. It certainly is, and they've had a wealth of possession down here now, the Cowboys, and the, they are creating chances. They're just not capitalising, as you said. What about the tackle again? I know oh, Jack Reed. Mate, mate, he's he he may chance. be the first centre of Clive oh, Churchill. Churchill. You called it. Reed, oh, he's got to be up there, yeah. surely. Well, he scored a try too, yeah, but how many? Matt Gillett. Yeah, but he's had like three try savers. Yeah, absolutely. Try savers, yeah. Absolute genuine try savers. Unless you have to be exposed by Blake Ferguson a couple of times last week. So That's Brisbane now, well, they've got to worry about winning first. There's yeah, still 12 right, and a yeah. half to go. Long time. They, The Cowboys four times this year have won when down with 10 to go. Let's see what they've got here is off a hand Gowie hits it up and gets up a little gingerly. On the next play, Darius Boyd increasing his involvement in this game as it wears on. He hits it up out of Tommy Hunt. Now plays it here to Hunt, who gives it to Blair. Blair is desperate to throw a pass, and he does. And he finds his man in Parker. And Parker hits and spins and is up to halfway. Great run for Corey Parker. Tamo is there along with Cooper. Ball now played by to McCulloch, who throws it to Friday. And Friday's got them. Backpedaling there as he makes it to the 40. He plays it now. Run it, run it. It comes from McCulloch to Hunt. And again, this oh. it goes straight through the legs. He's kick here. Oh, Trouble for Kyle Fell. Oh. He's taken by Reed in the end goal. It's a line dropout. And another signature moment as Kyle Felt let that one go through the legs. It should have been a regulation take. And he had to go back into the end goal. And by the time he regathered it, the Churchill medalist in waiting, perhaps. Put him away in a lovely tackle. 16-12 to Brisbane, and for the first time in a while, the Broncos get a chance to put more points on the board. As a winger, that's the sort of kick you don't want. It didn't come up at any stage, just kept rolling. But, geez, that's a, that's a big mistake there. I don't know about you, Mick. What do you reckon? That was a stinker of a bounce for Paul Felt. But what about Jack Reed on the spot again? Never gave up on the footballs. We see a towering drop kick in Thiday. Again, carting the ball forward. Well, they know they have to hang on here, the Cowboys, as Thiday crashes into... 
Three defenders with Cooper and Leonard involved. Just to the right of the post. McCullough throws it left to Matt Gillett. And he passes his way upfield where he's met 30 away. About to be played now to McCullough. Goes to the short right to Blair. Blair hits it up. Makes it to the 20. But Cooper is there along with Granville. So a conservative start to this set. Played to McCulloch. Throws it left to Thide. Gets it on to Milford. Milford across to Boyd. A cutout ball through the legs of Oates. He goes down. Picks it up. Knock on. Knock on. And Boyd having a rare off moment as he forced the pass that Corey Oates, the big fella, had to bend down for and he just couldn't reel it in. So as we suspected, McGinnis, the heat is having an impact. Mistakes are starting to flow. The Cowboys 15 from their own line. It is still Brisbane 16-12 in the NRL Grand Final. Nicorette scoreboard. Yeah, we're just starting to see how much this game means. You get so much goes into your season to get to this point. And as we spoke about before, 10 minutes to go. The Cowboys, they're trailing. The Broncos are in front trying to seal it. The game's starting to open up. It's just, it's there in the balance at the moment. And, and Darius Boyd, he would have locked that over again. As the Cowboys work their way out of their end. What, what has Thurston got? What's Granville going to do? Is Tamalolo coming back into the game? He's out there now. Here we go, the Cowboys. With Kane Linden on tackle too. And he'll play it here. 15 short of halfway. Now Tamalolo. He runs into hey, Gillett and one other. Big hanging around him, there. Dan. Sorry. Here it is now played to Granville. Pokes out a dummy half. A nice burst. Then he throws it infield to Coot. Coot bounces off McCulloch. But then is cut down low by Blair. But they're only 40 away. Played to Granville. Throws it open right to Asiata. And it comes across to Thurston. Thurston has got bodies in motion. He throws it to nobody. And he cleans up his own pass. He did well there, Thurston, after throwing it waywardly. Last tackle, 32 away. Thurston won't be kicking. It comes to Morgan, who just puts it up high and hopes for the best. Boy, backing back. He drops it. It's on the ground. Taken by a Bronco. Referee says it went back. And Kahu comes away with it. Oh, a stroke of luck for Brisbane. Darius Boyd was backing back. He wanted no part of that ball, and he couldn't reel it in. 16-12 Brisbane. He dropped that onto his foot and kick it back. Is that what happened there? Yeah, that's yeah. how good he's going, mate. Let's oh. have a look at a coach eye replay. Here oh. we go. Oh. Billy, that's a knock-on, isn't it? Nah. No, always going backwards. Fair ball enough. Ball yeah. that was always yeah. going back. Fair enough. Coach eye replay. Here's McCullough. Oh. His pass is oh. jumped by Oates, but he regathers. Oh. And he makes it up oh. to halfway. This game, I love it. Control yourself, Wendell. It's just oh. short of halfway. Four tackles gone. He throws it left to Milford. And Milford steps and Jinkson is put down. Not as impactful yet in this second half. The bit 45 away. Ian is now played. As it comes to McCulloch. He throws it left to Hunt. And again, the conservative stab into touch. Quite happy to do that here. What are you looking at, Wendell Saylor? Yeah, I just see that uh, Cole Felton, Justin O'Neill, and swap positions there. I'm not sure what that's about. Don't forget all in the season, Justin O'Neill had a lot of problems with that bomb. So... If I'm the Broncos, I get an opportunity. I'm bombing Ju- Justin O'Neill. Time called off. Eight minutes, 29 to go. How refreshing to be at a grand final, which is up for grabs in the last 10 minutes. It doesn't happen often, but this one is anybody's. Brisbane 16, North Queensland 12. Sideline, we go down to Ben Dobbin for Lysart. We talk about players off their feet. Jack Reed, and I don't want to wax lyrical about it. He has been oh, yes. unbelievable. Last week after he was beaten twice, at halftime, Wayne Bennett said to him in the change rooms, Jack, we believe in you. Go and get the job done. Well, he shut down Blake Ferguson in the second half, and I'll tell you what, he shut down everything in front of him tonight. Yes. So here great. come the Cowboys. Across Not only does he look good down there, Dobbo, he knows his footy too. Oh, he does, he does, mate. He's very good. Dobbo for Lysart, a trusted experience in steel for over 150 years. You can call it 13, 30, 38. But here are the Cowboys midway through their set on tackle three. And it comes across from Asiata going into dummy half to Tamo. Who backs into the defence and is put down 43 away. Played to Granville. Goes to the left this time. Cuts out to oh, Finds Thurston. Oh, who's lined up and smashed wow. by Adam Blair oh. in the tackle of the game. But Thurston, Thurston did well back. to hang on to it. Legend. Last tackle. Morgan puts up a floater. Boyd has to back back again. He's five metres oh, out. He takes it well this time. And he can't escape the defence. But Boyd did oh. well. Can I say, how tough is Jonathan Thurston? Mate, there's an opportunity for this, one of these Cowboy players to put their name in history here. The Cowboys have never won a premiership. It's their 20 years. They've got a massive chance to do it. This is the same scoreline as their final three weeks ago. Brisbane 16-12. Now, here's a, a run from Alex Glenn. And he's taken here by O'Neill. And one other there on the left side of the field. 
As Brisbane come back to the middle. Oh, oh, ben is. Hunt goes through one, goes to another, comes to Felt, beats him. Now taken down from behind by Morgan. Desperate tackle. Hunt's best moment of the game. 30 metres out. Last tackle. Here's McCulloch across to Milford. A little chip oh, kick. Thurston's Was he taken there. out late? Not, don't think so. Taken by Thurston on the full. Play on. Comes to McCulloch. Tries to push him away. And Thurston's put down. And Thurston looks buggered. Now the ball is played to Lachlan Coote, and he's put down. Billy, was that a late tackle there on the no, Brisbane good. player kicking it? All good, Dan. Very good. Billy for Bidon's lawyers. Here are the Cowboys, spreading it inside their own 20. Oh, Cooper to Leonard, and Leonard is closed down by three defenders. The Broncos just have numbers everywhere. Here it comes to Granko. Across now to, looks like Talmalolo. And he's met here 18 short of halfway. Gets up quickly to Granville. Space Plenty around to run. He throws it to Thurston. Thurston on to Morgan. Morgan, dummies. Not fallen for. The Milf again. <laughs> along with Reed. 40 metres out. Ball played now. Last tackle. Thurston from centre field. Oh, he sick. shows and goes and then passes back to Granville. And he just kicks here high in the air, hoping for the best. Easily taken by Kahu, who called mine. Six minutes to go. Kahu goes down the middle. And the Cowboys, Nick Ennis, almost look out of ideas. Yeah, they do. But look at the Broncos. They're absolutely out on their feet, too. As we see Matt Scott trying to get a one-on-one steal. It's like a title fight in the last round. They're going blow for blow. And there's there's a knockout punch coming here. The Broncos are trying. How good's Oates been? Oh, he's been great, mate. Hall and Oates, I love him. Ten short of (laughs) halfway. Now comes to Milford. Oh, he's picked up and put on his backside by Granville. Four gone halfway line. Brisbane 16-12 on the Nicorette scoreboard. He's parking. And he runs more sideways than forwards as he tries to look for options on his outside, but he's crashed to the ground. Last tackle. It comes to Hunt from centre field. And he again angles the kick and he finds the sideline. No secret what the Broncos are trying to do at the end of these sets. Five minutes, 18 seconds to go. The Cowboys, they're not dawdling to the scrum, but they're not rushing either. So time continues to tick away here. They might only get the ball three times. I think that you're, you're there are three or four sets left, uh, left Mick, but Wayne Bennett would love that because mate, they get to set their defence, they, they'll back themselves, and they've worked so well for one another, Broncos, but still, the Cowboys have got those players, Coote, Telmalolo, Jonathan Thurston, who can still have an impact in the last five or six minutes. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing that's been really evident in this second half is the amount of defensive work they've made Jack, uh, Jake Granville do at dummy half. Yeah. He, he just hasn't had the energy to attack the way he did in that first half. We see here Wayne Bennett at half time they're talking to all these boys and who's going to stand up for the Cowboys now five minutes to go five minutes to grant to go in the grand final is still in the balance incredible to believe there's been no tries in this second half here's Tamo hitting it up and scooping an offload falling into the hands of Morgan he can't quite get away from Glenn and Glenn does well along with McCulloch and Blair. 20 short of halfway. Here's Granville across here to Talmalolo. He's fresh. And he almost gets to halfway on tackle three. We'll play it now for Granville. Goes to the left to Thurston. Short side. Cut our ball to Linnett. Linnett steps in field, but he's crashed to the ground here. 10 in from touch on the left side. Played to Granville. He throws it to the open right to Talmalolo. He services Scott. Scott to Thurston. Short pass to Lowe. Bumps oh, off one. Run. Bumps off Milford. Oh. Milford gets him on a second attempt. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> oh, the Milford. Milford has stripped it one on one. Remarkable for Anthony oh. Milford. What a play at the most opportune oh. time for the Broncos as the Cowboys were getting ready for a fifth tackle option for 15 metres out. What an effort, Anthony Milford. It was a great run. They put themselves in an opportunity to score there, the Cowboys. And Anthony Milford, for a young man, he's got composure above his years. Oh. That could be the game winner right there. So now Parker hits it up here for the Broncos. Five to go in this. In this game, make it four now as Blair goes up the left side. And he's met here on tackle four. Scooped up a dummy half on McCulloch. He goes to Reed and he just hits it up. There's nothing fancy about Brisbane. They're just trying to get through these sets. Here's McCulloch poking a kick down the sideline. They've done it again, the Broncos. It finds the line and the crowd booing here. I don't know why. They want their entertainment, but uh, the Broncos are just playing this to perfection as the Cowboys are about to pack this scrum. They're 12 out from their own line. They've got a bind here. 3.20 to go. We're still waiting. Now they've got the numbers there. Oh, look at that play. And finally, yeah. they stopped the clock with 3.13 to go. Wendell Saylor. Now, I just saw a tweet there, and it just said, uh, uh, the way the Broncos are playing, you love your soccer. It's like parking the bus. Playing that style of football where you just might play very defensive. <laughs> mate, they're in front. You know, they want to just clinch it. I don't know if the first half was exactly parking no, the bus. No, no, yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> so... Triple M NRL for Harvey Norman. The grand final has three minutes left. Three minutes and 13 seconds. 
here it is now. That comes across field. Thurston. Thurston cutting out one as he finds. Oh! oh! Inside ball to Lennon. He's thrown oh, dangerously yeah. by Hunt. Wow. It's a dangerous tackle. He's got a date with the match review committee. Yeah. That's not vital at this stage, but it is a penalty as Lennon was picked up and thrown awkwardly. That's going to give the Cowboys some precious yeah. field position. Time called off. 3-0-1 to go. Here's a replay for Coates High. Billy Harrigan, as we see Linnett, taken by Ben Hunt. Yep, lifted him up, put him down, on report, penalty, and penalty suffice. Well, you want an opportunity in the game. This is it for the Cowboys, three minutes to go. They get good field position, a good set of six. Mick, this might be their last set. This might be their last chance right here as Hunt has put on report and the Cowboys will look for the line. Yeah, well, for me, Dan, I think they're going to work over this right-hand side of their field towards Milford, and I think they'll come back with Thurston attacking with Gavin Cooper, as he always does. That's their trusted play. I think they'll go there. You get the feeling you're about to see something for the ages, one way or the other. They go the Cowboys. They're on the left side. Granville. Oh, oh, he throws it right to Kudu. Bends down, picks it up, and does miraculously well to reel it in. That was a tired pass from Granville, who's there a dummy half. And he throws it right to Thurston. Thurston gets it to Scott. And he runs down the centre, through them there to put him away. Two minutes, 28 to go. 16-12 Brisbane. Granville throws it left to Thurston. Thurston keeps it going to Tamalolo, who tries to do it on his own. And he almost got over the top of McCulloch. 32 out. Tackle affected. That's the third. Play to Granville. Slides across to his right. Throws it to Thurston. Thurston to Morgan. Morgan runs himself. Uh, Milford, Milford again. Milford. Milford again with a one-on-one tackle. Eight in from touch. In they come across. Felt with a shaky pass. Picked up on the half volley by Thurston. Oh. Slides across to his left. And then Zayde oh. picks him off oh. like he was sacking the quarterback. Oh. Last tackle. 18 away. Granville runs out of dummy half. He then rolls a little kick, which is not going to make the end goal. Red is back there. He takes it. But the referee says... Play on. Play on. Jack Reed's ball. A minute 43 to go. The Cowboys... Might only get it for two or three yeah. more tackles. I agree, Dan. 100%, Dan. You're on the money. 16-12. Brisbane in front. Brisbane now starting to play the slow the clock game down as Thide A on tackle three. You need to Goes run hard nowhere. Here. Now, these tackles are happening so quickly that the Cowboys are going to get themselves a full set. Here's McCulloch across to Parker. This is tackle four, and he's put down. No offload there. A minute 19 to go. They're on their own 20. Here's the ball now with McCulloch. He throws oh, it left to Milford. Milford. Stepping. Oh, sliding, oh, almost through. Milford. He's away now. He's up to the 40. Draws in defenders. Comes to halfway. Ball is knocked out of his hands. Play on. It's taken oh. by Hunt. Then he loses it. Cowboys have got it. Cowboys have got one more chance. They're 55 away. Brisbane. I think, Billy, that would have been six to go if Hunt held onto the ball. It would have been. And that would have been the game. Thurston throws it left oh. to Leonard. Oh, oh, he juggles. And he hangs on to it. And he's brought down on halfway. Everyone is standing here at our ANZ Stadium. Now a one-out run from Winterstein. 40 metres away. 37 seconds to go. The grand final comes down to this. Here's Tamalolo. Down the middle. But no offload. Parker with the tackle. Quick play the ball to Granville. 30 away. Throws it right to Tamo. What's he doing out there? Holds it up. Runs over one. Throws it inside. It's on the ground. Picked up here by Morgan. They've got numbers Morgan there. Thurston. 20 metres away. Steadies himself. Throws it infield to Scott. Oh, he almost slipped an offload. Here it is. Big play. 16 seconds to go. The last play. They go left. Thurston. Thurston beats one. Still going. Pushes off McCulloch. He's going backwards. He needs to give it. He finds Morgan. 20 out. Centre field. Morgan. Morgan runs himself. Morgan. Oh! It. It's a tie. Oh! It's a tie. Oh! To win that. the premiership, they were gone. It was over. But Michael Morgan has slipped the pass from heaven, and Billy, surely it's a try. No, it looks like it's a dead set try, Dan. I think they're just going to check the touch line. We're seeing a coach on replay. I know he stays a couple of steps inside the line, and he gets the ball down untouched. And this is a dead set try. Up we go to the scoreboard. He got it. He got it. And Jonathan Thurston has the premiership on his boot. Here comes the decision. It's a wow. try! And one of the greatest grand finals.
Boy. gets its grand final moment right here. Thurston will be on the sideline. He'll be kicking on the right side of the field. Mate. This, this is the stuff dreams are made of, and it's happening right in front of us here at ANZ Stadium. What about you? You're a kid. You're down the park. You're saying, "I'm oh, 16 all grand final." You're talking yourself through it. You're joking around. What well, he just gets on the outside, Morgan Reed, who's been exceptional all night. Turned him inside out, got the ball free to felt. And look at the reaction from the Cowboys. Box here flying everywhere. The and Kasper, Thurston. The Kaspersky well, Internet go. Security Predictor says 46%, but it doesn't take into account the match-winning qualities of Jonathan Thurston, who has a wonderful record on the right side of the posts. Now, you talk about opportunities and moments. Jonathan Thurston gets to carve his name in history. He's already going to be there. But he can win his own grand final and lead this side with Matt Scott. Wouldn't wow. it be a fitting week oh, for him? Dally, fourth Dally M, grand final. Now, we know how he kicks. He kicks way out to the right and brings it back. He closes the angle. This shouldn't be the preferred side. Everyone is standing here at ANZ Stadium. And Brisbane, are they going to lose their first grand final on an after-the-siren conversion? It's 16-all. The only try of the second half, and it happened on the stroke of full time. How can you back against him, Mick? If he misses, he, we've got golden point. It keeps going. He's the clutch king. Mate, if anyone's the clutch king in our game, this bloke, he's done it time and time again. He shushing the camera people. He's saying, look, get away. Give me space. I want a kick. Mate, this is pressure. As a kid, I'm not sure you dream about these moments. No, Jonathan got, Thurston yeah. gets this moment. I think, I think you always joke about it. Yeah. yeah. But when it comes to reality here... Oh, mate, that's what, this is what champions are, mate. Yeah, he's a champion. Yes, but, but who else would you want kicking it? Dobbo, is there any sort of breeze? Absolutely none, boys. I'm standing directly in the sight line of what Jonathan Thurston has to kick here. Unbelievable. I cannot tell you the atmosphere here when that try was scored. No one could hear anything. Br the Broncos players are absolutely dejected at the moment. I don't know how they're going to get back from this should they go into Golden Point. But come the hour, come the man. So Jonathan Thurston. Thurston. He takes his time, he steadies himself, he wanted the exact spot, and he has got this now 21 metres out on our side, the right side, and about 20 centimetres in from the right touchline. Jonathan Thurston. Talk about fairy tales. <laughs> the Dallium winner. The captain. Now this, this is a moment of immortality right here. He is taking his time he lines the ball up. Now he puts it on the tee. Angled at the at the right upright. We know he's going to start this right and bring it back. 81,000, 82,000. Hold their breath. As a champion. Has perhaps his golden moment. And Thurston walks back. Now he's ready. The grand final rests on this kick. He misses its golden point. Here he comes. Jonathan Thurston. Moves it. Starts it right. It's low. It's low. Oh, Hits the post. No! 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 no. Golden point! Oh, it was a oh, missed no. kick which angled towards the right upright. It smashed into the steel and bounced away. And now every cowboy comes across to console oh. Thurston. He's got to recover quickly, wow. and he is absolutely ropeable with himself. Golden point for just the fourth time in the history of this wonderful game. Do we have a drawn grand final? It happened in 77. It happened in 78. It happened in 89. And now we have our first golden point grand final. 16 all. This, this is extraordinary. I know there's got to be a winner and there's got to be a loser. But to the footballing gods up there, thank you very much for this grand final because this is what we deserve. How good. Wow, John and Thurston. Just about to create some history there. I thought it was over, Mick. So I'm not sure I, about mate. you. So did I. It was coming around perfectly. Even Thurston reacted. Yeah. And you, you don't see, see that too he had often. The half, you know when yeah. you're putting and you go the half putt, you think you got it? I honestly thought it was going to hit the upright and bounce in because oh, it, was, yeah. it was angling yeah. towards the centre. Yeah. So for a moment it looked like it was going to hit the post, but you thought... It might just shave it. So do we go normal rules here? Normal golden point rules? Five, yep. minutes, each Five way. minutes each way. First scorer wins. Simple as that.
I don't want to not back the Broncos here, but you think with this broken field running, mate, the Cowboys have looked better, especially that try there. Mate, mate, who, who takes the confidence now? Do the Broncos lift and get yeah. spirit now? He's missed it, it's and it the is. Cowboys deject it. Do, or are the Cowboys still are they still flying after what's happened? I think the Cowboys are still flying still. The Thurston is totally dejected yeah. as he and Hodges yeah, share an embrace. Now they Cowboys toss the coin, and golden point rules for those perhaps new to rugby league are quite simple. Whoever scores first wins. And we'll keep going until we have a winner. There's no replays. We get a winner tonight. 16 all. Has there been a better bloke in Golden Point this year than Jonathan Thurston? No, there hasn't. You know, he hasn't, he's a quite specialist. He's been amazing. Raiders against a storm, yeah. yeah. Numerous storms. Yeah. Cowboys will be kicking off. Dobbo on the sideline for Lysa. So the Cowboys will kick off. Jonathan Thurston won the toss. They're going to defend with all their might. The Cowboys then hopefully get some field position and then it comes the hour. In Does a, he get another chance? In a game where the metres have come easily for both sides, do you want to receive or do you want to kick off? If I'm Brisbane, I, I, you win the game with the footy. Yeah. You win it with the footy. I'd receive. But there's, there's going to be someone who's going to tighten up here. You don't want to be the person to make the mistake or cost your team that penalty. I can't believe that pass of Michael Morgan. Here oh, we go. Class. Golden Look point Look begins. At the 2015. Oh. It's a Away. And Ben Hunt has put the ball down cold and he is crying. He is in tears. The game is not over. The game is not over. But Ben Hunt realises the mistake he has just made and the opportunity that has just been handed to the North Queensland Cowboys. Now the question. Do you take it straight away, Michael Ennis, because we've got a scrum situation where it's just backline on backline. As a right foot kicker where this scrum's placed, I reckon they're going to take one to the right-hand side of the field, and Granville will whip it straight back to Thurston. I reckon he'll take it early. You don't want to take the chance of a turnover. But you have Lachlan Coote uh, on your left. I'd have him move the side. Yeah, yeah. I'd, have him move, I'd have him move the side. You're saying to Thurston, mate, wherever you're comfortable, just get there and I'll oh, hit you. Wow. Morgan has never kicked one. Coote has kicked two. Thurston has kicked 13 in his career. If I'm, if I'm a dummy half... I'm saying to Thurston, you just go wherever you're comfortable, mate, and I'll hit you. Why and, not straight off the scrum? And because we know, Billy, they're going to they're going to be offside Brisbane. The defending team always is. And is the ref going to have the gumption to, to blow a penalty? Well, you can see Jerry Sutton is doing that right now. Mate. Here we go. They've got blockers in place. They're going to go straight away, it's you're right. It's coming here. There are three players ready to block. They are standing there, which is their right to do out of a scrum. They can stand there as long as they're in line with the lock. He won't miss Thurston it. waits. He's 20 metres away. He gets it. Here we go. Oh, oh no, they rush up on him. He dummies. He runs. Oh, He's cut down. He's 15 right. away. But that's only tackle Oh, one. is he injured? He's injured. Thurston's been hurt. Oh, no, no, he'll no, get up. No. He's okay. Here's Granville, centre field. He throws oh, it into the tunnel. Oh, he goes for it. He's only three away. Left now. upright. Another yeah. chance here. Here it comes to Thurston. They rush up on him. Throws it back. It's Coot. He shapes the kick. Now he runs. Goes down the left touch line. Shot, throws it to Leonard. Oh. And Leonard is cut down 12 away. They're getting further away. They're near the touch line. It's played to Cooper. Throws it right. Set up again. Cross to Coot. Coot away to Tamo. And he's knocked over on tackle four. Centre field. Here it comes to Thurston for 20. He shoots. He's got it. He shoots. He's got it. He's got it. Jonathan Thurston has won the grand final. Wow. Rugby League's great player. Lucky you there. Rugby League's number one player has Rugby League's number one prize. Jonathan Thurston has coolly slotted the field goal from 20 metres out. The celebrations have begun. And we have witnessed perhaps the greatest of them all. What a game. What a night. Cowboys 17 16. And North Queensland, after 20 years, have their first NRL title.